Hello, hi, bear with us. This session starts off really slow and there's a lot of circle talking. Um, apologies. Oh, that's the last thing we need. Oh, let's, let's run mean? it. <laughs> Let, let's run it before I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> never, seen a, never seen a grown man cry, it's ugly. <laughs> no, I don't see it happen, it's hilarious. So, who's brave enough to do another recap? Thought that was the case. Uh, I can give it a shot, but I kind of only remember the um, end portion of the session. I can also try. I know a good thing or two. So, at least from the end portion of the session, you know, when we got into the bar and everything. So, we scattered around, talked to some peeps, got some information about uh, 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 one of the uh, Van Thamper boys. I what? already forgot his name. I'm um, uh, it was. I know. Yes, uh, the the snake-looking motherfucker with the devil on his shoulder, quite literally. Uh, me and Tars. Uh, eventually, uh, we found out about him and where he was located in the VIP section. Uh, Jackin went up to try and talk to him, got shoved to the ground. Rupert and uh, Tarsal decided to. Um, do the talking and basically said we had business and we want in on stuff. After a very awkward business conversation, I say fuck it and drink literal poison. And uh, while this is going on, uh, Gark is um, befriending a very inebriated Dwergar. Oh, I forgot about and the fucking then, Dwergar. Yeah, Griffin. Uh, and then eventually uh, uh, we head out of the place and i remember something about um you being handed a deck of cards from a very concerning book i don't know what type of, type of cards they are but i know what book they're from and i am scared and i believe you just made a deal with the devil woman <laughs> you should be, yeah deal with the vape lady <laughs> In the room. Uh, i prefer my women to be men <laughs> whoa <laughs> It's so real. We are we are learning so many things. Um, yeah, we get some Rupert lore right now. That's why he's getting so close to Farcival. Uh, Garth, yeah. what, what do you remember That's from about like before everything, from before the troubling times? Uh, well. Great start. Look, would you believe me if I said that? I forgot most of it. I know that I picked yeah. up my silver weapon and we went to. Uh, God, go back you to the no oh. Do you want me to take over? Oh no, I, I love torturing people. I love what torturing people. Take over? How would you want to go <laughs> there? Cause, yeah, 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 because I play with you in two other games and you can't do recaps in those games either, and you're the DM. <laughs> In fact, the best I've ever heard you do a recap was the one session you weren't there. <laughs> Someone's dying in a session later. <laughs> Just kick the poor man whilst he's down. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Oh, uh, you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's horrible. I mean, to be fair... That is basically, basically it. You've done like a half a, you've done half a session of shopping, half a session of schmoozing. Um, if you want to boil it down into as few words as possible, but... He's not even defending himself, he's just sitting there, he's just taking it. <laughs> also, he might have to murder Mortlock, or at least fake his like, death. Like, how, like, he can't, he can't really not take it, you know, like, the truth hurts and you can't defend against it. What are we defending against? <laughs> <laughs> are you even listening? No, my computer crashed. It wasn't even involved. <laughs> my powers are too poor. Yeah. It's almost like, hey, do you want me to take over? And then my computer crashed. I was like, well, okay, I guess. Uh, it's awfully fucking convenient, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what was being said. I want to know. Uh, we were talking, talking about you, not to you. 
Yeah. Well, still, what a fucking number. <laughs> uh, ask Zardik. Yeah, sure. So I've got down here writing that we went shopping. Aura, Aura picked up his mace and failed to get laid with the gnome. Oh. Then we went to the harbour to do some scouting. Jack N saw or felt an invisible creature watching from the top of a warehouse roof, but couldn't catch it. Uh, people came out cursing the van thampers, and another person screamed, fuck the guild, while sprinting off the ship. When we went on, there were sea- ravens who were eating seagulls in the crow's nest, but Jack and when he went on, detected them as being fiends. I've got fucking imps, question mark, <laughs> next to that. Uh, then there's a couple of Kenku bartenders who seem to be connected to the guild. Ore Ore made contact with someone, and they went to speak to someone from the guild in the back room. Don't know what else happened there. Um, we, uh, Colby overheard someone say, I've got a week to pay up, not want to be eaten by that thing. And then that was there were people coming from the downstairs in the ship. Going down there, there's Amrik was on the lower level with some kind of devil. Um, Jackin tried to engage the devil in conversation but was pushed away by a guard. Amrik and uh, Farcival and Rupert started talking. He offered money to Rupert, who wanted to learn about medical practices, and um, both tried to talk to him, but he would only respond if they agreed to do either a favour or take money from him. And so the favour that he offered was someone had to die, kill a mur- do a murder. Well, he gave, he gave the name of the person to Far- Farcival, but... As far as I know, she hasn't let everyone know. But Morlock is who Corby assumed it was. I'm uh, assuming it, that's what yeah. it is. I don't give it. Oh, oh yeah. That, that. I can't to, even to, begin to explain how excited I am for the yeah. session. Two, two things. Apparently there were four, four sort of guards down on that lower level. And they didn't respond when other people started fighting. So they're probably there just to guard Amrik. And as we left, <laughs> at least one of the weird ravens flew off to the northwest. Tom's notes. Tom's notes even have his own perceptions in there. Rupert, you don't even know if he's mentally ill or might be faking it. <laughs> I once got gaslit into being schizophrenic. You don't know. Duh, you're just crazy, um, mate. Also, um, Scott, could you delete my token and then put it back on the map? Because it's all white for me. It's all, the, the token's all white? No, everything is oh. all white. Okay. Um... I think that's just a you problem. Well, yeah, it is. Thing. I know. <laughs> Fucking smartass. Just... You sexy little smartass. What? You little... What, little... I ass. prefer men who bathe. <laughs> are you uh, Are you able to see now, sir? No, but it's alright. I'll just deal with it. Maybe when we go to a different map. <laughs> Otherwise, mm-hmm. I'll just be raptured. So, he's all. Are you, are you even on this map? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. No, but looking at the little icons at the top underneath the map 1.1. Oh, um. You, got, you don't even yeah. seem to be logged in. Yeah, he's not logged on either. Oh, wait, hold on, mate. You're not even <laughs> logged in for us, so. Might, might be because. Oh, would you know it? My computer crashed again. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that absolutely wonderful? Give me a moment. What a kawinky dink. You tried to run a mod pack with 200 mods. Yeah, right. So, hey man, I'm on my laptop right now. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Such a shit laptop. I'm only joking. Love you. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> Don't know why I, I mixed everything there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, just leave the Low Lantern Tavern into the Knight of Baldur's Gate. There's still quite a bit of a hustle and bustle on the street. Uh, I'd say you're probably looking around about maybe 7, 8 p.m. or about that particular area in time. And it's still a bit busy. There's definitely liveliness in taverns and there's still people going around, but an awful lot of shops are closing up for the day. Um. Where is it we're going? I feel I should actually just close the book right now because I feel. Did uh, just I mean, did was Gio, were you with us when we got paid? Uh, 
I'm not sure. I think I added it to our sheet anyway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got, we got yeah. paid 200 gold, so if you've got okay. that. Okay. I've added it there. Um, yeah, so it's there. Don't worry. Yeah. And the weirdest and funniest thing ever is Jack and goes and runs off into the distance into the night. Out comes Zadia. It's weird how these two just never seem to be in the same room together. <laughs> I don't like the implication that they're the same person. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, enlighten me where we're going because I, I too am very scared for what's to come. Uh, oh, real quick, fun. I want to find a nice private spot <laughs> to make one of my cannons. I want to kill Cockblock. <laughs> Don't you not just like magically summon the cannons? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, I can add flavor to it, but it does essentially just say I just make them. Yeah. So if, if you're just if you're summoning like the uh, where, where the fuck are they? Eldritch cannon. Um, magically create to me implies you just you know you can put the old ta da. I'd like, to think, the I'd, like to, I'd like to think it's one of those, like, the arms are moving so fast, it's like a blur, you don't see anything get made, and suddenly, boom, there's an Eldritch Cannon. It's like the Lego <laughs> Master Builders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rupert comes out with a, uh, uh I'm gonna choose, uh, fuck it, we ball, uh, Force Cannon for the day. Kill. I will rip that out when it is necessary, sir, just to stop yep. all the tokens. But yeah, it kind of brings out this little cannon looking thing. Uh, I realise I spelled cannon wrong really qu quickly there. Uh, now, I don't know if I've got the right things, but you know, um, YOLO. Oh my god, These... it looks like a fucking like, Lego Star Wars profile. Like, well, it's not the full image. <laughs> It's so uh, if you want, if you want an idea what the full image looks like, uh, look up the Medi gun. <laughs> Dear Lord. Yeah. Where's the um, uh, blushing mermaid tavern again? Uh so you would be. So you're technically on the blushing mermaid, and Farcival is. Yeah. About there. About there is where you are. Um. Not really being pedantic about the the exact location, but it is about there. Is okay. where these are. Uh, Cor Corby, unless anyone says anything, Corby will start leading people to the Blushing Mermaid. Um, and he's just trying to keep track of that we're not being followed by any ravens. Yeah. I think Rupert's trying to keep an eye out for any, uh, like... Um... Devils or stuff because he saw the devil on that man's shoulder. Random devil walking through Baldur's Gate. Hello, hi, bread. Yeah. <laughs> this is our making your way through the streets. Uh, get a perception check, Corby. You never know. First roll of the night 14. 14. After you kind of leave the docks area. You don't see many birds around. You do you still kind of hear the seagulls kind of squawking off and such. But you more see street pigeons and like crows, magpies. Nothing seems to be following you. But now that the streets have quietened down, it is, the bird population has increased a small amount since. Just imagine all the birds just <laughs> perched, watching us travel, like millions of them. Uh, go oh on. God, we're in bird box. <laughs> they all turn in unison and everybody realises what's going on. <laughs> so, yeah, you gotta make your way towards the... That's a lot of awkward. <laughs> towards the blushing mermaid, the area quite rife with patrons tonight. But there seems to be no trouble so far in the area. It's a quiet 
night for a busy tavern. I'm assuming we all go in and take a little seat and discuss our plans. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yes, I'd like to buy drinks for the whole party. Oh, bro, what the fuck did I say that guy's name was again? Yeah, it's, yeah. he's all set down, bar. Or his his up. name is Greg. I'd like to buy four drinks. Five drinks, one for uh, the gnome. The Dwergar. The Dwergar. Oh, yeah, his, his yeah. little drunk buddy. Yeah. Uh, Rupert is not allowed to drink on a job. I think that's the medical oath he took, so. No. But Bora will be mindful of that. <laughs> I'll just buy my own drink. Okay, go ahead, fuck us. Yes. <laughs> go go yeah. so when we're sitting down, Corby looks at the parcel and Rupert and says, What did you find out? It is a mixture of things, but our main mission now is to locate a certain someone and dispose of him, so to speak. Is that hard? What did you say? Do you mean... I asked who's our target. Oh, okay. Do you mean killing him by disposing of him? It seems to be something of the sort, yes. He called him a sort of a oxygen thief. And uh, I, I like lean down and like pull out the book that I uh, had the note slipped in. I pull it out and unfurl it. Hmm. Do you unfurl the little note that I ripped up? Because, yeah, it quite literally says right in there, you can tell this has been written with some malice, this is a very deep inset. Anyone on the back can see like the outline of this written in reverse. More look, Van Thumper. Or Van Thamper. I keep calling him Thumper because I'm a fucking idiot. More look, Van Thamper. Are we going to go through with it? I mean, I don't see why not. Um, I'll be following you guys. I feel okay with you so, so far, so yeah. I always spent the effort healing him. It feels weird to kill a patient. I kind of like the fellow. I mean, there's only so much holding together our very loose and very damaged morals at this point, so I don't see why it Morals? So, just to clarify, putting aside the fact that he's under guard, what does killing him get us? What's the bigger picture? Well, Access. the man had a devil with him, so it's assumed that he had a resource that we are unavailable to so either we gather information from him another way either way we need to find out something about these cults we need to understand them better and need to understand the people within them better so as i see it to get through this and his connections with the infernal um powers and whatnot would be the easiest route We could always ask uh, that fist guy you've been working for, Corby, uh, about his input, about the situation. He's told us what he wants. And it wasn't working for him, I don't think. But... Yeah, does that relate to the question I asked? Well, the fist guy said that we had to go and investigate the Van Thampers. I don't okay. believe he said go and work for them. So if we go and talk to him, that's probably not going to be time well spent, considering we've got like a week. Well, 
I look at first of all. What do you know of that devil thing? Can he tell if you're lying, if people lie? It is possible. I am not fully aware of their powers and I'm not fully aware of their capabilities. What I do know is that it harbors the same ability of that I do and to encroach on people's minds in order to give them messages. It detected my message when I was speaking to Rupert when we were conversing subver subversively. So it's possible that it could potentially seep into one's mind to learn of such thing. But I have no experience in it and I cannot say for sure, but it would not hurt to be careful. As I see it, I do not think it would be wise to approach Corby's place of employment for this sort of thing, especially if we are under cohorts with possibly illegal things. Um, these people do not seem the kind to trust authority, especially those who are involved with authority. If we get too cozy with them, it's possible that we could find ourselves in much deeper trouble than we already are in. So, I say we lay hello, we keep our heads down, and we do as we are asked. That way we at least have a secure and definite road to the things that we are looking for. If we go Counter. towards... Hmm? No, sorry, finish your sentence first, Gloria. If we go for anything else, we are following a path that we are unsure of. At least with this, we have a very one-way direction to find what we are looking for. Counterpoint. We have to go to him anyway because he's the one who's protecting him. And we can always set up a sort of sting operation. And you are going to talk to him? Uh, no, I was hoping Corby would do that since he seems to be the most familiar with them. And besides, either way, we need to get to him to get to you know who. That is true. I don't know. And what... Just putting it out there, what if we do Oriora's favorite thing and just go and capture Amrick and beat him? Yes! You speak my language. I think. <laughs> I'm not the one for abrupt violence, but in this circumstance, we have secure reward and secure information. I do not believe it would be wise to directly jeopardize that for an insight of plans that we do not know are even workable. So, let me, let me just get this right. You're suggesting that we are trying to find out stuff about the Cult of the Dead 3. So we go... And people who we know are associated with them, they will tell us all we need to know about them. I'm not sure if there is direct involvement. Um, he may be involved with the cult directly, or he may si just simply know about it. As I see it, it would be worth investigating. The person who made the confession said their mother was using them to kill people. That's pretty direct involvement, in my opinion. What if we did a setup? We could say we have his body, or bring in a... Real quick, would Rupert be aware of a... I want to know if Rupert would be aware of a certain spell. Feign death? Is it on the Art Professor spell list? No. Hmm... It is not on there. Uh, Fiend Death, that's... I'm trying to think. Uh, if you Third level, it. it appears on Bard, Cleric, Druid, Wizard. Bard, Cleric, Druid, Wizard, okay. Uh, Arcana check. I wish you see which type of check would be rolling. God. You have... Intelligence is your main stat. <laughs> I have a plus three to the roll. I'm not exactly <laughs> proficient, but... Uh, spell uh, at this moment in time, not something you'd be aware of. 
Okay, well then, I, am I at least aware that there are spells that can deal with death or yeah. falsify it? Yeah, there's spells that can resurrect. Do weird death things. Yeah, you know, play so, with one's mortal coil. So, here's an idea. We do a setup. We find a way to falsify a corpse or even bring in Mortlock himself. And we get the Fist of God in on it. And when we're about to do the handoff, we strike and contain it. That could be a secure plan of action, given that we execute it properly. But assuming that everything goes well and we do it effectively, what could work? Mech, stop trying to eat my fucking laptop. <laughs> You're a greyhound, not a... Sorry. You're not starved. Gaia, or, or, or right. how do you feel about the... Uh, he, he, looking to the other three, uh, how do you three feel about the uh, idea? I mean, that's... Uh, that's I, I say idea. we set up an established network of people that we can rely on. So, uh, let's, uh, kill. Flash kill facility. Right. You, my amnesiac friend, gesturing to Gaia. I am... I'm okay with your plan. I don't think I know any spell to, like, make someone dead, looking dead. But, but, but yeah, and, the, the plan could work. And Corby, your input? You seem the most well-versed in this kind of thing. Well. So, my, my thought was that we were scouting out the tavern to go and try and question Amric. Turns out it looks like we are now working for him and that we got to try and go and either kill the person that we had previously rescued and put into protective custody or lie to Amrit. Yeah, we're lying that's, to... that's bad to do that. I, I'm well, not sure what's good or bad at this point. Well, the, the thing I have is if we're going to lie to him, why do we need to bother going through all that malarkey? Why don't we just go and try and capture him? I don't know how to do that, so sure, if you want to do that, Rupert, you can talk to Captain Zodge. It's always good to at least have some sort of reinforcements, and if we have to do it ourselves, I'm not opposed to testing some of my new invention, patting his foreskin. And... Thought you said something else there, mate, to be honest. It, it, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think you're better off just being kind of mate or you'll think that you're probably just Megmart or opponent. Anyways. What, rather strange name for that thing. <laughs> okay, it's called a Force Ballista. Ah, yes, my latest invention, the Foreskin. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna put myself in an early grave. <laughs> anyway, look, if we can't get Zodge to help us, I'm down with just uh, uh, how you say uh, beating the shit out of him until he um, is unconscious. Yeah. The only reason I haven't uh, advised directly for kidnapping him himself is simply with his. Connections. I believe that would be very dangerous. Counterpoint. I have a gun. Counterpoint. They send you to hell. Yeah, I already know. Counterpoint. I want like McDonald's. <laughs> Tarsal, you don't need to be tell me where I know I'm already going. Eh. Better to go when I can follow you than now. Well then. Uh. Well, it's late, and honestly, I think it might be best to be at our peak if we're going to do this. Mm. 
Do we sit alone? Can settle in for the night. As early evening. Yeah, we have like, because like we have like a day or I think we have like two days to do this. If I recall correctly, that's roughly what I remember. But uh, I I'm only saying this because I have no spell slots and I'm on eight. I'm I'm not even for me. Imagine how I'll say we go for it. The sooner we. Get it done the sooner we get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yes, well, it would only be a, at most eight hours. Well, you've already got your foreskin cannon, so why don't we use that then? What do you need spells for? It's called a force ballista, and also, well, magic is the means I heal you a lot. Ballista My hands can only do so much. Your hand can only do so much, yeah? Your foreskin? <laughs> Before you two start becoming do, does anyone actually even know a spell where we can fake death? Because uh, you mentioned that, but I don't even <coughs> think that's in our cards right now. Out of character, isn't pain death a third level spell? Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> that's the first issue. We could always see the Sorcerer Sundries for the magical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you want to pay for that? Yeah, what says, like, pouch of, like, 25 gold? I'd be willing to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> we could also steal it. You know, we already use excessive force. That's how you use it. to everything to violence. Oh, not violence, mate. If they. The jet, then it's silence, but they can always comply. And I'm for sure me, it's a, a spell. It's a spell I might know, but honestly, I don't have the memory of it, and I, I'm not sure I have ever, even knew it. I'm not sure. I don't. I cannot do it now. Well, you also don't have the spell spot for it. Mm -hmm. Out of character. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking we could maybe. Possibly buy a scroll. <laughs> Who here has but, enough money for that? Besides Jack and, and Aura. Also, I don't believe that any of us have the skill sets in order to wield something as that. And if we do, we this. don't have the time to study it. Well, we can always just knock out Morlock and pretend he's dead. I don't believe that will fool anyone. I have a good plan. Let's hear it. We knock him out. And then, if they suspect it, we kill him. You know, we could just say we brought him here to kill him before then. He could have, but he didn't. <laughs> no, I'd say we can do that. Oh. We could also just kill I, the middleman and just kill him. <laughs> just make it easier. Forgive me if I don't exactly want to do that. Especially if we want to give all the effort to, to rescue him. Well, it wasn't well, really an effort. Before we got promise information. Yeah, didn't didn't he just walk with us? <laughs> I don't think that we really put effort into rescuing him. Well, I as saved I see, his life. As I see it, we don't really owe them anything. In fact, they owe us. Yeah, they owe us their life. We saved it, we can take it back. Can I, I'm can, going I try, to can I try and give the whole decline. one a high five? Can you try and what? Can I try and give the horned one a high five? Oh, 100%. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd like to give the horned one a high five. See, oh, he, knows, he knows my language. He's all see across the table a crisp high five. Hey, nice it's bag. not even that like it's not even like <laughs> that much effort coming from him either. It's just like he just like kinda like holds it up for him to do. He, he's just sort of blank. <laughs> Cavalry oh, has to yeah. jump up. Oh he has to jump up to hit. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm ten foot tall. I'm nine foot, I forgot. Ninety I... sitcom freeze frame where everyone like freezes in the air when they jump. <laughs> Corby See, went really... on to own an artisanal bakery. <laughs> See, I'm gonna be honest, Rupert really doesn't want to kill Mortlock. 
So I don't really know what to do here. Rupert, Other you're than... losing your bitch. Let's you're call it away. to a, let's call it to a vote. Ooh, I, I wrote something for that. Oh god. Oh, god. It's gonna make it like survival of fittest or something, but No, 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 no. It says here kill and then it says under it wait uh, i'm ready to suggest... take a vote unlike the government I was, also... also, I was just gonna suggest we can always just try um the not killing way first and if we have to then moida <laughs> yeah and then we stand there with all the bad guys around us <laughs> like a fucking dumbass voting should we that's kill not... this dude <laughs> that's, fucking... that's not what i'm that's saying i'm things. saying you... I'm saying if things don't seem to be going our way, like, we size them up and everything, we bring them Morlock, we'll just straight up just kill Morlock. Look, no offense, but I think that should be decided before we might get into trouble. Because if we get into trouble, and then we're like, ah, uh, we're just pranking you, then it's I not gonna look good. Take your whatever, <laughs> just prank, just I really don't want to kill Morlock! Can I be real with you? Oh wait, kill Morlock's an option? Well, isn't that who we're trying to supposed to kill? The thing that we've been talking about for the past hour. I, I thought you were on about Amrick. That shows you how little like I knew what was going on. Colby was. Yeah, implying. I'm trying to argue not killing Mortlock and kidnap Amrick. Colby was implying that, but the rest seemed fixed on killing Mortlock. I think that I might be a little biased in this topic. <laughs> <laughs> like, like my idea was. We try to get the um, Flaming Fist to help us basically do an Amaric, like get some Flaming Fist guys it, like hiding somewhere. We bring, uh, quote unquote, a dead Mortlock, and then basically get Amaric, call, call, basically um, does himself in, and if he fights back, we either kill him or knock him unconscious. Look, I just made friends with a, a crime boss. I don't, I don't want to immediately fuck that up. Yeah, so it's, it's, I, and I so, spent all my healing stuff on Mortlock that one time. We yeah, and you got like all your healing stuff back. What's the issue? I also just <laughs> like Mortlock. So we don't know about your your affiliation with the coin boss. Yeah, oh, we don't. Want to tell that? No, no. you didn't tell anyone. Yeah. All right, well we'll keep it that way. <laughs> and I just figured that it's just easier to like go one-to-one -one and just kill him and do as we were told rather than make things more complicated than they need well then we get the fist authority. on our ass so i should do it properly let's put this what let's put this to a vote all so we're gonna, we're gonna use the chat box here all in favor of killing americ say aye i'm not in foundry but um i want to well, say I'm... the opposite of i well, I mean, I don't even say killing Amrick. Literally capture him for information. All in favor of waiting eight hours. Say aye. Oh, I don't mind long wrestling, so no. It was your idea, a long rest. <laughs> well, and no one seemed to be on board with it, so I, I'll just stick with my force cannon. And all in favor... <laughs> all in favor of killing Mortlock. Gark is I... already an aye. I... Uh, th those are those eyes were for the other stuff. Arsifal. Hell yeah. Someone hasn't voted, which is arguably worse. Uh, <laughs> Someone's that, abstaining. That counts as I'm yes. saying no. <laughs> not, also, not those first two were right. for the other stuff. So what, what, what about we take a, a rest first, and we take a night to sleep on it, and then we decide? <laughs> We probably should waste time on this. <laughs> yeah. Besides, I think most of us don't really need to sleep because it's still like noon, isn't it? Like afternoon. Okay, we know we're just gonna do evening. it ourselves. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna run away. Like, yeah, we're gonna do it before you wake up. <laughs> you come back also, you do either blood. way. We're, either way, we're in hot water with someone. We're gonna get hot water into the fist because we literally just put him under protection of the fist. So what's the most dangerous of the two solution, excepting the long rest? Like, what's Reason? the most dangerous uh, for us? I, I think it'd be the crime busters, since a flaming fist needs to adhere to rules and laws. Like, they can't I, just kill us. Uh, like, but the crime bus can just send waves upon waves of assassins and people to take your foreskin. 
you know? I turn to Rupert and I, like, grab his hands in mine. Prison or hell? I have principles. Oh my fucking god. Oh my yeah, god. really? Rupert has principles? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I've been waiting for them to show as well, mate. Well, Morlock doesn't seem to be actively trying to harm us. These guys are. Start. What about we just do what they set up us to do and we do our job and, and that's it? Is that really bad? We do our job. We were given a job. Yeah, and so we, were we do given the a job. job by the fist too, so by that logic. Yeah, so the the two jobs collide, and or we can just run out of the city and just don't do shit. Or we can just kill both the Mortlocks, both of them. True. We kill everyone. Ethnical cleansing of a single family. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure that's got another name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure that's called something else. Oh, probably. <laughs> Another issue is that if we go after the government or authority here, rather than the crime boss, is that reasonably, within within reason, th there's, there's exceptions to everything, we can just leave. If we attack the crime bosses, they're going to find us wherever we go. So... Is they, there... can, they can track us down, but not, not like that. Is so Fist included to Border to... Skate only? Or wherever we are currently. Uh Flaming Fest. It's oh. it's national, right? Or uh, international? Yeah, they're predominantly in Baldur's Gate, but they can be found in other places. Um it just so happens that they are technically the de facto guard of Baldur's Gate as well. Okay. Also, oh, we've already fucked with the dead free. Why stop here? Those are just lousy cultists. Who work with the vampire. <laughs> so yeah, so we kill one of the Van Tamper. We kidnap Van... Van, Van whatever his name is. And Since use him you have in... More? Didn't you see the dude alive, like, last year? I have morals against killing people who aren't an active threat. Don't people call them like capitalist traitors constantly? I, I you, you've got to like. There, there's got to be some sort <laughs> of Kobe. Kobe clears it. Kobe clears his throat and goes, and <laughs> I don't think you. And he looks at Farsifal and Ore Ore fully comprehend the flaming fist. They are a mercenary company who work for the duke of this, the leader of this city. He commands them. They are not known for kindness, and he looks at Ori, Ori particularly. They do not follow laws but their own, first and foremost. <laughs> ah. All right, let's not kill Murdoch in that case. <laughs> I um, cannot tell I... you that they are worse than the guild and these crime bosses but they're not a soft touch ah, I, still say we should, I still say we should just capture Vanrick, try to trick him or just brute force it till it works alright you can do whatever you do with him but I'll abstain from interference for personal reasons I've got my own agenda with those people. Well, we have to to move and decide soon if we don't take a rest, and we're not gonna stay here all day discussing it. So, the vote didn't seem to work. Second, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the vote went nowhere. A bit like UK politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how about we just? 
try talking to the captain, see where that goes, and then we can decide. Sure, if we get more information that helps deciding, I mean. That may be a good course of action, then. Uh, Rupert, I've got a question. What? The guard. Because, you know, we've, we've walked past the gate guards. The captain, does he have, like, a different insignia? Like, one that is more important than the others? I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, fuck ass. Thank oh. you, Mr. Useful. My my territory is the watch. The fist affairs aren't really much importance to me. Okay, I though. think we've all been through a lot tonight and it may be wise for us to come back to the situation with fresh eyes later regardless well, of our it? decision is, did we say it was like time it evening. wasn't it evening. night last time we left off yes evening I'd, I'd, I'd go ahead and say your discussions as deep and as philosophical as they are call it 9pm yeah oh okay I thought it was way earlier so, we could take the night to think about it and come back fresh and, and decide then. Maybe we will have better ideas. I've heard somewhere, I think, that night gives you... What is it? Night gives you... I don't remember. But yeah, night gives you something. I mean, you don't seem to remember a lot, given your situation. Yeah, my, my memory is shit. <clears throat> Fine, I'm willing to table this till the morning. Does anyone get any order of business they wish to conduct throughout this night? Then, as we do not, in the words of the, the bards known as the first direction, the sun goes down, the stars come out, and then it came back up again. And you all enjoy a beautiful, lovely, long rest, uninterrupted, new day, and your stay here cost three silver per head. Alright. Yeah. Uh, also, I do not believe Q will be joining us as he was stuck at work and he was complaining about his back. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. He was... Oh, will he be joining? I didn't hear. Uh, um, no. He's no, uh, too much pain tonight. Oh, he feels and shit's printing. Nice. <laughs> I was to say, who just activated <laughs> their like their Gundam? No, it was you my printer. So my girlfriend's clearly. I swear, if I sh she's printed something, it better be something <laughs> important. Gu Gundam, I'm the wrong artificer for that. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, it's psychology stuff. Cool. Is use good sleep. Get back up. The D is yours, nice and early, you know, early to bed, early to rise, and all that jazz. Yeah, wake here in the Blushing Mermaid, you're home away from home for some of you now. Hmm. I now must really ask the plan. <laughs> oh my god, fuck off. She starts printing this page by page, you're gonna break her neck. <laughs> no, I don't do that. So, how do we all feel about talking to Zodge uh, first and then deciding what to do? We still good with that? I'm good with it personally. I feel as if that would be a wise way to go about it. It gives us new information and it gives us openings. Yeah, and more information will maybe help take any decision. Alright. So Captain hey, Zod would be around the gate here. Yep. Sorry, I was just reading the map. 
Now there is your basilisk gate. I'll actually go ahead and I'll call it Bass Gate because I'm really dumb and don't know how to spell basilisk. And That's it's fair. too late for me to learn now. Is it too late to say sorry? Yes. <laughs> I will end you. <laughs> I will Don't threaten me with a good time. Whoa. As you... I put the fun in fun ethical. <laughs> As you all start slipping your way towards the Basilisk Gate, you can't help but notice that at some point you seem to be down a member. You don't quite notice until you're already at the gate at that point. There are these huge towering gates once more seem to be flanked on each side by the giant basilisk. Can you see the crowd of people outside, the smoke rising from small tents and fires? As it were. You see the other ones right there. The page one. Oh. That was the first one that printed. Oh, you printed it off twice? Yeah, somehow come off twice. Oh well. Meg, stop trying to eat the damn laptop. <laughs> I thought I'd only give her one, sorry. It's alright. You see the man, gruff as he is, Captain Zodge, as he you know, looks round and looks back for going to turn round once more and almost a disbelief double take, you know, walks up to the gate. Yes? I refuse to believe you've done anything stealthily so far. So, uh, what's the meaning of this? Is there somewhere private we can talk? This is as good a place as any. Well, are we like, are we standing outside the gate, or is there like a thing of area we can walk into? He's behind the gate. You're talking through the gate. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's just say, um, okay, short and sweet of it. We're trying to. Uh, do a bit of subterfuge with the Van Thampers, and one of them requires... He, he does like the cutthroat gesture uh, of uh, a certain, of uh, the person we just sent to you. Mm -hmm. And we're wondering if we could try to, well, set them up. Preferably falsifying something, but basically we need a way to feign uh, his death. So he can get um, this Van Thamper in a vulnerable position and hopefully take him in for questioning. You make the assumption that Mortlock's still in the city? Well, then that raises another issue. Then... No, it doesn't. We have a week, and I said by any means necessary. That, you know, places a hand through and puts another one through and kind of tries to turn you, includes, puts his hand by your side and just kind of pushes, violence. We don't have okay. time to do elaborate setups. We need answers or we all end up in the gallows. I quite like living. Do you think you could send us in with a little bit of extra help? At least, do you know where we can get a little extra help? You are the extra help. Fine, fine. I hired you to do this job because I can't spare anyone else to do the job. If I could, believe me, I would. But you are all. Oh. I can really spare. No one here Fine. looks even remotely capable of doing it. Alright, fine, fine. 
and you don't want you don't care if we kill him without questioning him or do you want us to do that first is it just kill him i mean question him if you kill him then what's your plan after that if you walk up to him and stick a knife in his gullet what happens next where do you go after that the next van tamper then it's who the, the next van tamper hmm do you know where the next Van Tampa is? I have a feeling I would have a good idea considering I worked in the upper city. A good idea is one thing. Solid concrete evidence is another. Well, we did spot uh, uh, the, the Ven uh, working with the devil. And do you think you could get a devil to talk? Fine, fine. We'll deal with this. We'll deal with this. And I'm just going to walk away and head to the group and just... I apologize for wasting everyone's time. Let's go deal with the situation. Are we killing? Well, we have permission to kill Venric, but we need to get okay. information out of him first. Bye. Uh, All right. Your, your little Dwegar friend's gonna looking at you, hungover as all else. Oh, Pokers. Hello. It's so bright. I need a drink. Can I, um. Can I. Can I use my channel divinity to make him some sunglasses? I need a pair of shades. <laughs> okay, Grifton, Grifton, listen to me. You're I'm hurt you're under my payment, right? I'm I'm hurting you, right? Would you like uh to not be blinded but soon? Please. Alright, I can make it for you. I can make you a gift from the gods, but it's going to be expensive. Might require you to work for free for a while. Because I'm putting in a lot of money for this for you. Just for you. Oh. If you if you want, you can make a persuasion check for me, because I can't do that. It's going to rock so oh, can... oh, oh, Just Alright, no, just no need once. to get an orgasm, mate. Just this once. Oh. If it's, if it's gonna help with this blistering headache. Alright, so uh, how, how much are you willing to uh, work for it? How many days are we talking about? You sure know how to bully a man. Kick him when he's <laughs> dead. No, I'm, I'm literally just your employee. <laughs> Three days. Does that sound applicable? Yeah, fuck it, sounds good to me. Uh, I'd like to spend an hour making sunglasses. Uh, once the three days are up, I will just break his sunglasses and <laughs> we will have this whole conversation another time. <laughs> Literally bullying the guy. See, no. that I have no moral problem, problems with. No, it's just, it's just capitalism, mate. It's <laughs> how it works. It's how it's supposed to work. Yeah. As you... Uh, yep. Yeah. It, it'll take me an hour, but I'll go back to um, the the blistering mermaid or whatever. No, uh, just... I'll eat a t uh, poopy. Go take a nap. <laughs> Hello? Hello? So, hey, cut! Where are, we, where are we running off to? One's headed back to the blushing mermaid, but Rupert, you were which way? I mean, I was just. I figured I would just follow the party to. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to deal with Venric at some point. I'm just sticking with the party, because I feel bad about wasting our time. <laughs> Where's everyone else going then? I'm following too. And I guess we're all headed back to the Blushing Mermaid. As you do that, at some point you notice that your party's gained an additional size once more. As uh, 
missing member of the party he seems to have returned. Corby, did you go off somewhere? <laughs> well, yeah. How did it go with such? I wasted everyone's time, and I'm old enough to admit that. So, I was just thinking, what do we know about the Van Thampers? I've heard rumors of devil worship, and they work with the civic engineering. What's that? Uh, hold on, I need to uh, look at my player info real quick. Oh, jeez, what's the phrase my DPI? Uh, civic engineering, is that what you're kind of looking for? Yeah, uh, basically the engineer stuff in the city that help it work better. Civil infrastructure, uh, underground pipes, sewage and the such. They handle the plumbing and architecture and upkeep of the city. You know, roads, bridges. Is that all across the city? Uh, I guess, do yes. they cover the whole city or are they just in general? Okay, yes. They handle quite literally all of it. Is that a way to get to the to the, the sewers? I mean, I, I mean, they don't live in the sewers. And I highly doubt they're personally going there, but he gives a shrug. I don't know, maybe they're weird. Actually, if they work closely with the city's architecture, they could have hidden swaps all across town. I mean, odds are they are probably the ones who helped with the uh, underground part in that spa we went to. So these people do underground devil worship and cult sacrifice and were protecting their lives? Well, no, we're just killing the other Van Thampers. Okay. I'll say, throughout this, you know, it hasn't taken too long, you've have got an end, you know, throughout this whole conversation, made your way to the Blushing Mermaid, sit down and, you know, Or has been tinkering away, minded his own thing, you've been having your uh, third strategic plan of the hour. Strategy. So I guess, do we want to position? Uh, Henrik seems to frequent this place. Do we just want to position ourselves? You've you've m met him. What do you think he? Uh, given I took, I made a save. I I would be aware that the drink was poisoned at least in some capacity, right? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm aware. Well, he offered a drink. I drank it. It was poison. I didn't feel any of the ill effects. You want to work for him? Constitution, if you will. Well, no, I was. No, I had no intentions of actually following through. What? So it's called tricking him. To it's called getting in close to you know, get what I can, and then what do you want? From him. Information. Working with him, I thought. I'm trying to trick him for information, essentially. I had no intentions of actually going after Morlock. And we can't even do that. It's probably out of the city by now. Unless we have foolproof plans on how to fool him into thinking that we actually killed him. I don't think it would be wise to quote-unquote trick him by taking up an offer and then disappearing. That would only well, bring more attention to us from other crime organizations. We'd be seen as an easy target. Well, then why don't we just kidnap him? Oh yes, because that won't attract crime to us at all. Well, we're attracting crime either way, so I, I look at what you want. I look at, first of all, slightly exasperated. 
you got a close look. Did he have any symbols of Z3? Uh, did he? Uh. Um. He had a devil on his shoulder. Yeah. Mm, no, he very much dressed up. You really actually, yeah, you couldn't really see his neck. Uh, he'd like a very had a high collared shirt on, some armor atop that, and then a cloak round that. So really couldn't see anything above the chin. Rich, but not the coldest. And he had a literal devil on his shoulder. Well, yes, but in so, terms of symbols. Rupert, how many devils did we fight down in the Day 3 cultist place? I, I think we only fought cultists, as far as I remember. Hmm. He had a weird... Uh, do you, do you think he's... Devil. Do you think he's practicing Day 3 stuff on the boat? Well, given the rumors about uh, uh, devil worship and cultism and the literal devil, I'd say it's more like he's in league with devils and the dead three just happen to be profitable. So if he's not involved with him directly, where else might it be or who else might be? Well, there's always the matriarch. And I believe, uh, how many, like, uh, how well do I know the Van Thamper family? Like, do I know the names of their yeah. peoples? And stuff? You know, you know the names, and you're also aware that there's the three brothers, Mortlock, Amric, and Thrustwell. The mother's name being Thalama, or something like that. So Thrust there's their Thrustwell. mother, Thalama, and Thrustwell, and Venric, and then, you know, Mortlock. Those three, uh, sons and such. Do you reckon that uh, when he's having intercourse, he oh, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck you! Just making sure. What's the opposite of inspiration? <laughs> Wait, though, he, he he thrusts his thumb over. Oh my! Whatever. Fucking god. Keep your lance in your pants, my guy. I love this family. <laughs> You're all adopted. I'm sending you back to the orphanage. The welfare checks just ain't enough. <laughs> what about your disciplines? Uh, no, I just don't like murdering people for unless I have a reason. That's about it. And, you are know, you, experimenting on people. Are you pro-life? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> I'm not a cop. Fuck off. Uh, by now, I, I figure I created the uh, divine sunglasses for my uh, pet. Right? Yeah. Divine sunglasses, cool. that's what they're getting called. Great. I'd, I'd like to engrave it um, for my good boy. <laughs> If lost, return. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow, I should have wow. made a collar as well. Oh, Fuck. dear. Oh, it's no. turned him into a slave. Girl, what's what wrong with you? <laughs> Divine sunglasses. This is why Minecraft servers don't want to fucking work for you. Helps with <laughs> hangovers. Enslavement. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll join uh, the rest of the party again. The party is the party. It's a fucking debate club at this point. We're fighting. <laughs> That's true, yeah. We talk really more than we do things. The girls are so, fighting. The gays are fighting. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking about me and Tarsus. <laughs> the married couple are fighting. Mom, Dad, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess... What, how are we handling this? Let's get something ironclad so we can move on and kick some teeth in. I think we've been trying to do that for like one and a half hours now. <laughs> we seem to circle back on each other. Yeah, it's a vicious <laughs> circle. Ah. 
Guy said they'll be back in a quick Yeah, day. washing machine blowing up all over the place. <laughs> Fun. Don't worry. Yeah. Because uh. at this point, I think it's best to just wait for Venric to come here and then just get in close and say, hey, well, here, here's the stuff about the job, and then boom, shoot him in may, the face. May I ask really quickly, where do you think you are? What makes you think that he's going to visit us? A second, what makes you think that that's going to work out? No, no, no I, 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 need to, I need to ask, where do you think we are right now, Rupert? I'm not, no, that was just out of character. I'm not saying that out loud. Oh. I would have been doing the voice, sorry. This is just oh. me ready to move on and go with whatever happens. Wait, can you do the voice real quick? Uh, uh, roughly about this. There's a difference, yeah. Never know what to say. Well, but ask me honestly, if I'm doing point... out of character. I'm like, do I sound Russian to you? <laughs> at, at this point, at this point, I'm ready to do whatever. Because more luck's out of the question. Because, as far as we know, he's out of town, possibly. So, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I'm ready for whatever at this point. <laughs> I'm down for a bit of regicide. Every time we play this game, I'll learn new words. Regicide, the action of killing a king. Oh! I thought that was called a coup d'etat. Yeah. Where are we going and what are we doing? Huh. <sighs> First of all, gaslight his work husband into murdering someone. This is such a healthy. I mean, I'm fine with murdering the any other Van Thamper. <laughs> Why? Because they're devil worshipping and working with the dead three. God forbid a man has all these. What the hell? <laughs> well, Percival's the only exception. Uh, Percival well, gets a pass. Quote a romantic. What about Orin? Take a bath and then we'll talk. Of course. <laughs> Alright, so, so how are we doing with Enric? Well, uh, Orin already back. stated that he'll abstain from the interfering, so uh, good luck. Because at this point, I'm down with whatever, I'll go with whatever. So Tarsival, Guy, and uh, Corby, what are you think? <laughs> I guess... The, 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 the guy and... Yeah, she's Uh... Let's see... It... It's hard to say... Again... These... All, all these things... As much as I advocate for one in particular, it's all so very dangerous. Uh... I do not mean to cause infighting. I simply just want the best for us and do not want people to come of harm that is Oh hi. Um so long story short, um they go on this for like another thirty, forty five minutes. Um we had to like energy and I'm like, yo, what's going on here? Um because you know I've said that a few times now, but I really needed to know what the actual plan was because um they, they seem quite happy to go around in circles all day and then try chase a moot point um you know but Mort mortlock's gone at this point people um he's no longer in the city he's away and you still want to chase him outside the city um i feel like the weirdest point here is that they somehow managed to travel like 300 miles in less than a day um and people like will go chase him still no it was a moot point and yeah we discussed it it turned out you know Zaw is one my character but no um, too many circles, so we got right on point, and here we are. Uh, apologies. I'll say, alright, if we need to break the ice and break the rope, or however you say it, let's go after the crime boss. And first we can sky out the place in case we see any fancy documents or chests. And if it's worth the trouble, then we can probably make something happen. Corby's good at stealth and sneaking around, right? Uh, uh, Corby, you're good at sneaking around and that sort of thing. Maybe. 
Ore, Ore. Wait, no, Ore, Ore hasn't mentioned his connections to the crime boss, has he? Oh, er, not devil planning Ore. to do that either. Yeah, uh, so never mind. I can't, I can't weigh in on that. Never mind. Rupert, one hundred percent snitch. Oh, okay, so how do I rephrase it this way so it still works? Maybe you can try to scout around the mermaid and look for any interesting documents or hidden away places oh while God. we, you know, monitor the situation and keep an eye out for you. What if I have to do that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a plan. I can finally uh, look out for what that invisible thing was. They got a little creature in there. So oh, I assume I that a plan is now going to the boat. <laughs> yeah, the plan is search the boat's rooms as secretive as possible, I think. Hopefully using Corby since he's the sneakiest of all of us. And then do with that information what we will. And then hopefully... I uh, go after the Van Thampers, because uh, honestly, I'm probably the same boat. Rupert will not go against his city or the the Fitz. Okay. So yeah, we, so we're ready to we go. Move on. <laughs> so we are headed back to the Low Lantern. Then. Um, that's the boat, the ship, the boat yeah? Pattern, yep. right? That's the boat, okay. boat pub. Yeah. Well, only this fucking party can spend 30 minutes in a room talking about whether we should kill the bad guy or not. Yeah, I'm sorry. Really I, 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 I just got, I'm sorry we got into such circles. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I think discussions like this is what makes the game fun. I'll see it right now. I'll see it right now and I'll put my hands up. You felt my sign post and wasn't very clear. Just let me know. Like, you know, just let me know. We can always <laughs> go after Mortlock once we're outside of Waterdeep. Waterdeep? This I can... Baldur's Gate. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Baldur's Gate, sorry. <laughs> and also, we have a week to go out, well, we have six days left for Mortlock. And also the, the situation. Alright, let's speed run this shit. Let's go to the, the low hanging. Yep, let's tablet. head to the low lantern and start s s uh, sneaking around looking for shit. As you glitch your way outside of the map and make your way back to the low lantern tavern, to where you were, mm. I'm not going to say that you spent forever arguing in the street and it turned dark again. I'm just not going to touch the weather <laughs> effects. That was fucking funny. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Corby. You're all right with sneaking around, right? We, we can keep an eye out for you. Uh, hopefully you wouldn't see me. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> we'll watch for any dangers and you can call for us if you need help. We'll keep an eye out and try to warn you about any incoming threats, all right? Well, okay. into the lantern. So I guess... <clears throat> I guess I will move uh, the Gark token and the um, Dwegar token. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My computer's updating currently. That's right. But I've no other way. Are the Ravens still there? They are, yes. They seem to be back. Taking more of a vested Didn't interest mention... in yourselves this time. Given th that, okay, given that, and also the fact you mentioned the ravens, can I can I look at the ravens and see if there's anything weird about them? Yeah, as you look up, you can see that one of them has some dead seagull in its mouth. Do any of them seem to be weirdly interested in us, like watching us, like very closely? They are perched and kind of looking down, and you know, as one looks away, another one is watching. Like security cameras on an oscillation. Is, is it like, would it be abnormal from normal crow behavior? I guess. Or raven behavior. Uh, I don't think they eat seagulls. That too. Yeah, no, that's, I, don't think they do. I, I, feel, I feel that was the first big hint is the, uh, the dead seagull that they're eating, but they do seem to be watching yourselves. 
Okay, so definitely, definitely picking those as possibly evil ravens. <laughs> and also, I thought the seagull thing was just, I don't know enough about ravens for that to be weird or not. <laughs> I was Cornbury that pointed that one out. Even I didn't know it was weird about ravens until he pointed me out. I wish the book said it was. Yeah. I feel like it's like a given. I don't think ravens are like carnivores, are they? Yeah, this is, <clears throat> not sure. This is all the boat, so they can stand in there. Ravens are omnivorous. Sorry, looking sorry, sorry. off at the city on this rocking boat. It's a weird place to be, this city. Not really taking much of it in in your past few days, given your kidnapping and such. You can fall forth into the unfamiliar area. You see the woman. You know, there's a little nod and there's a welcome. You can see she's got a little crab that scutters across her shoulders. She looks at yourself there, or it's a pleasant welcome. Ah, uh, still got your card. Oh, How are you this evening? That's... That's golly. Uh, have you been handing it out to uh, customers? Uh, like I asked you to. I've been trying, but no one seems to be in the business. I'm thinking of setting up a little board for everyone just to tack their stuff to. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, here you go. Uh, I'll, I'll have the uh, three gold pieces. I'll uh, invest in it. I'd like to see it uh, before next week, please. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Okay. I'll remove three gold from your sheet. Yeah, uh, I'll come back here. If it's not up there, I'll uh, I'll get some med with me and uh, do it myself, maybe. Um, it's, it's, what? It's, 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 it's fate, mate. Fair enough. I mean, you're like touching the microphone on your phone, so we can't hear you. Oh, you sorry, it's Mrs. Fate lady here currently. Um, she's. Not here yet, no. Why? Anything in particular you've been looking for? Uh, I was not necessarily supposed to meet her, but we had to discuss something mm -hmm. um, that we that I wanted to talk about. Um, can I can I just wait for her in the in the office so that I can write down <coughs> my script for the potential contract that we might sign together? I don't want to do it at the bar because of prying eyes, you know. She's not doing today, but if you require some privacy, by all means, uh, on you go. I'm just going to clock the door open for you. Uh, it's not locked then, eh? Not like previous time. No. Alright, uh, I walk in. Okay, can I just... <laughs> Does she close the door behind me? You know, looks like this. I uh, open, close, and gonna you know, starts opening, kind of swinging it. Your choice. Uh, you can leave it open, lad. Okay. And uh, I'll um. Fuck. I'll give, I'll give <laughs> you. A, I'll give you a screenshot of the place, just so you know what's up. No, no, no. I was just hoping. I, I know what it looks like. I remembered, but I was hoping that we had like like a sign in the party so that I could like make a sign for Corby to like hey you can get in here because the door's open like I can do we have a name for the party no we don't do we no oh. I'll I match hand if you want I'll, I'll make I'll make a fart noise really loud <laughs> I can use match hand if that helps but uh... I don't have a mage hand mate <laughs> I'm a cleric uh, but yeah, I'll make can. a very loud fart noise and I'll I'll go into the um, little room. Um, you said you sent the screenshot. I'll send you just name it. Uh, hit you with the letter G, so it opens up the DMs, and there you go. That is the current positioning of things. Oh, my little mate is with me as well. All right. Um, I'll ask I'll ask Grifton to go invisible and watch the door. 
um, and close it if anyone suspicious comes to investigate. Tiana watches he vanishes into nowhere and then kind of just hear the stab by the door. Uh, I hope that's not suspicious at all. Um, from <laughs> from first glance, is there anything that seems like out of place? Like something that might have been moved that was heavy or papers or an insignia? Uh, <laughs> an excrement left behind by an invisible creature? Um, at glance here, looking around, using your passive... Uh, oh God, my passive. Your passive actually... One of the highest in the group, mate. Oh, passive. 14. Oh yes, my passive. Uh, nothing seems out of place. In fact, it doesn't even seem like the type of place that one would normally do business. As, as you look round, there's a bed on the other side of the wall. Oh shit! It's just a bedroom. <laughs> oh, can I uh, inspect the drawer in the other, in the chest? Real quick, just a uh, quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As you I'll look, grab the desk. Give it a little. The feel um, it opens without any issue. You find a very nice, very warm, fluffy set of boots. You see a little logo on the side that says GGU. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's some other stuff here. You find a nice, fine bottle of wine. A few letters as you. Look through them all, they all seem to be love letters from an unnamed admirer. And you find a thick blue leather tome, and as you pass through it, you recognise the invocations and the glyphs required for spells such as identify, magic weapon, sending, sleep and tongues. You found the spell book. I'll take the, the tome and the love letters. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave the wine in it. D does uh, or know what GGU is? Uh, it's me trying to be funny and seeing you find a set of Ugg boots. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that kind of backfired, mate, not going to lie. I know. Um, and there's nothing in the desk, is there? No papers or anything? <laughs> there are a few papers in one drawer and in the other, an inkwell and such. There's... No, like, ledgers or such. It's definitely a, a place where someone just does a little bit of writing, probably ends up putting it in for postage or such. All right, I'll just grab a paper and an inkwell, and uh, I'll sit at the table right in front of the door so that the captain can maybe see me, and just uh, quickly whip up the most basic fucking contract there is um, so that I'm actually there for what I was saying I was going to do. Um, and I don't think Corby has come in here, so I'll just leave afterwards. Yeah. As you're kind of looking around, uh, as you look around this particular bar, there's all manner of creature here. There's human, elves, a Kenku barman, which just seems rather odd. Down at the corner, there's some drow, which don't seem to frequent the overworld to your memory and recollection, as shaky as it may be. Drow tend to keep more subterranean than anything else. Do they, are they the same drow that um, were there last time that uh, were working together with Griffin? Uh, potentially. Well, do they, what do you mean, potentially? Do they look the same? You're in a different room entirely. Well, didn't I say that I'd leave? Yeah, I'm time skipping just now, though, back and forth to bring everyone in. As you've walked oh. into the room, Zadie has come in and seen this. With Rupert oh, and Farcible. Okay. Sorry, mate. That's well, right. uh, I'm, I'm going to be by the way, for a quick moment. Uh, apparently we noticed some drow that aren't normally up here. No, you've seen them before, but the last time you were here, you were very much... I mean, like, up up on the surface. Sorry. Oh. Oh, the drow were here last time, but yeah, the fact that they're here is a rather odd one. The bar's patrons seem to be roughly the same people that you saw last time. In fact, you could swear down by the smell. Some of them probably spent the night here. <laughs> we. I think Rupert's just going to keep an eye out for anything like off or anything that might yeah. pose interest or threat. We'll look out for interesting individuals, but 
Other than that, I don't think he's going to be doing much until someone else acts. First one? Sorry, I repeat that. I was like... I was actually trying to do anything. Oh, no. Okay. Can you repeat that, though? I'm like trying to... Do you repeat um, that? Is there any... I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll type it, you keep continuing. Ziri, hmm? on you go. But is there anything uh, about ravens, like any painting about raven, or anything that would indicate why there are raven on the upper deck? Um, uh, nothing about ravens or such here, no. Um. Most of the artwork here seems to be almost legendary seafaring type things. You see paintings of like ships battling Kraken and you know treasure being dug up. It's very much a seafaring bar. So we'll jump down towards this corby as you come down, look around, you see Similar thugs to last time who were all minding around, they kind of spot you. You see the one person still sitting there, the hair flicked down, still kind of burning a hole into the wall. However, they seem to have moved seat one over since last you were here. Once you go up to the bar, a barman looks at you. What a be? Uh, one of Pours a little rum, you know, hands it over. Business or pleasure? I wanted to chat to you. I talked to Bow Bowie, and I nodded upstairs last night. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is all in um, like Aquan Primordial, and I'm like, I'm just, uh, my name's Corby. Um, I think I gave this guy a name. <laughs> uh, it's gonna look at ya. Iggy, that's ah, Gigi. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, ha, 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 ha. And I'll pop that. There we go. Bang bang. It's been a while since I've. Spoken to other of my kind, and Corby just like try and make small talk to this guy, try and get him to like be friendly while I'm observing uh, what I assume is Amrik and his friend at the far end. Yeah. So you have your pleasant conversation with this particular guy. You are. You do see that every now and then. Um, it does kind of put his hand up and gestures with a single finger and points towards his table. Is it where the Kenku kind of goes down or under the bar and like grabs some fresh bottle to sabre up at the table and place for him. So, uh, Wait, hmm? when Emmerich drinks, is it just him or is it the devil as well? Ah, uh, just him. Just him. There's no one. No one gets Amrick's wine. No, that, sorry, that was Tom asking oh. like for vision. Does does it is it just Amrick who drinks from the wine, or is it just, the devil as well? Just Amrick drinking from the wine. Okay. What's he pours himself some tall glasses. <clears throat> so, looking to take a loan. I'm gonna points towards you and gonna. Shoots one off towards the towards Amrick. He speaks this particular piece in common, however. As you watch as the other the thug has been kinda of sitting at the bar's face has been slowly souring before it sort of gives rise as he speaks in common again. Sure, I'll have another. Pours out another to you. Let's see. You watch as one of the gamblers 
at the table off to your left walks over at some point kind of seems to almost quietly sort of beg and plead with Amrik as you watch as he slays him a single platinum piece you can tell that the person here is you know judging by the looks of the table this is the person who is not doing good at tonight's game of cards run back off to gamble some more In particular, are you looking for here, Tom? What's uh? Well, Corby, Corby didn't really spend any time mm. serving him last time, so he's been doing that, and he's been confirming that there are four people down here as well. And it doesn't look like the um, other Kenku leaves his post at all, does it? He is. Only time you notice is this man Kenku bird person seems to leave is when he runs over to deposit another ball on Amrit's mm -hmm. table. Barring that, stationary here. And the bottles he take Amrit, are they already corked or they un are they uncorked at the bar? They're corked at the bar and he uncorks them at the table. Every time with a bit of ceremony as he Yes, sabers off. And I, I forgot to ask: Are there port? Are there portholes down on this level? Not on this level. No, this is a solid level, wall to wall. Nothing but wood. Okay. I guess. Back up. Sorry, but... that was yeah, I, I mean, Corby is there, but he knows that there are six people at least who are against him. He's not going to do anything stupid at the moment. I was just going to ask is there anything like. I guess. How do I phrase this? So I've been people watching and watching the room. Is there mm -hmm. anything weird with this room? Anything that looks off? Or like, given we're looking for devilish or dead three related stuff? Nothing, Nothing. in this place is demonic in any way. I would say you get the feeling that this place is separate from everything downstairs. This is your... Mm -hmm. This is your general access, whereas downstairs is more like your private hire function hall. Mm. It's just constantly been hired. Okay, so this uh, this floor is essentially quasi it's quote unquote unrelated. Yeah. Is what I'm understanding. Then I guess it'll I guess since this would be the best way to speak everyone. Alright. Corby seems to be still down wherever he is. He seems to be wherever he is. Come to us, yes. Should we head down? Or it how do we want to do this? Maybe wise. Uh, I don't think we're serving any purpose down there. Um, I mean, as we could... Hmm? Oh, I was going to say, as far as I know... This floor doesn't seem to be related to anything. It's the downstairs we want, and then and he has us on a job, so we want to risk going downstairs. But I guess you and I are the only ones who really have to worry. Ore Ore, Miss Durga, who I don't know the name of, and Zadia haven't really been seen during this, so... Well... We could go down and find Corby, and you know, if we cross paths with him, it's my mic keeps cutting out. It's not as if he were on bad terms with him, so maybe we as can as... get more out of him. And as far as he knows, we're still on the job. 
Maybe they... we're just taking a bit of respite while we work. Exactly. Or we could recon, or that we're reconning with him to gain more info. Maybe we can ask about where he is, because we are, since we know that he's out of town, maybe we can learn about his whereabouts? Sure, sure. Uh, ore, ore, or, uh, Arby's, uh, Zadia, are you guys, will, will you two be joining us down Hello, hi, once again, I would like to remind you that we are on Patreon and we are on Coffee. Uh, this is the advert section where it's a good time to take a break, take a pause. Um, yeah, hopefully you've been enjoying the session, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. It is currently a ooh, Wednesday the 15th as I record this at 1.07. Uh, no new news as of yet. Do please enjoy. Shall see you all, I want to say very soon, but I've still got a little bit of time to fill here. So, hope I told you the next game's Tomb of Annihilation. Enjoy. Yeah. You're okay. That's what we're asking. Um, Obviously, you'd be saying. Oh yeah, I think Garth's not here. Oh. Well. I would make the assumption that he would follow. To be fair. All right. Like he's like he said. I'm back. Uh, Oh, welcome back. They're going downstairs. You following? Yes. Sorry, right. um, my cat is about to die, so I had to help her shit. It's all right. Wait, 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 what? Like, actual die, or like, you just been hyperbolic? Oh, no, she's probably going to die in the next week or two. Oh. Um, but she's she's unable to poop anymore, so I have to help ah. her with that. Ah. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, yeah, no, cycle life, but yeah, I'm following. <laughs> Sorry for the, the heavy news. That's alright. <clears throat> As you head on down, I run an assumption for Gork right now that he you know, just sits down but hangs back, given his predisposition. Yeah. Um, yeah. First of all, you're still upstairs? Uh, I'll follow them down as well. I'll drag it down for you. Do you, do you? Mm. We're yeah, missing the Van Tampa like, right now, right? Gray. What was that, Gork? We're meeting the Van Tampa right now, right? They're certainly down there to see. Um, is Shield of Faith, is that touch-based? Shield of Faith? Uh, what level's that? Uh, first. There we go. Shield of Faith, uh, one creature, 60 foot. Nope. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all? Yes, um... I'm trying to think. I mean... Have we... Uh, have we even talked to, like, Corby since we got down here? No, I thought you were saying something... Before Gark said something so, and I'd interrupted. Oh no, I don't. It was like something stupid. Ah. I don't remember what it was. And as you just come down, you see the numerous thugs we looking around. You see Corby sitting on the bar having a little talk with the Kenku. You see that there are three, three people who are very clearly associated with Amrik and another two who are very much just for lack of a better term hired bouncers so like they're they're like two people related to the ship itself and then th the three yeah. with the event after right. yes so i guess going to call babe. so what's what's it looking like anything off any uh, do you think we could actually? Can I? Can I? I guess best way to phrase this: Am I able to size up his thugs? Mm. Let's see, you get an idea that they are well armed, as they are also well paid, but they're also. They're also not trying to draw too much attention to themselves, so like, most they are well armed, they're also well... 
I want to use it the word dis- I want to use it the word disguise. Like you know, there's no actual visible weaponry, but you can tell underneath long cloaks that there's definitely a long sword or something waiting. Yeah, basically, it's not out. It's not open carry. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the phrase. <laughs> Concealed carry only. All right. Okay, so I guess go go into cr- 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 la- 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 words. Talking to Kobe. So, what's your read on the situation since you've been here the longest? <laughs> An awful shame if there was a leak to suddenly appear, and I'd sort of like motion my head behind the stairs. So like over, and I don't know if I can click. You can ping. I don't know if I can. Just hold down. I just hold click. Yeah, somewhere over there. I motion that way. I wonder what would happen if there was a leak there. Possible leak. Actually, hmm. where guard can go invisible and do I know about particular creatures? Again, we're looking for devils and stuff and devil worship. Do I know about particular devils that might be able to go invisible? Mm. Or could I try to recall such information? It's been stated that some devils would have that particular power. So then, my question is, can I listen for any movement that doesn't correspond to any visible person? Passively or actively? I think he's going to, like, take a moment to, like, Sounds like I act. guess to sit at the bar and listen out. Just actively, like, listen. Uh, give me yeah. a perception check. Okay. For the love of God... That one. Is it coming? Pepsi? He's computing that one. Pepsi. Please don't be a not what it is. Wi-Fi bill. <laughs> I think I heard him, but I could be wrong. Oh, he on the lag, he or something. Uh, I'll just roll it and I'll let him know. Perception. Who's calling it? And I'll let him know what that means, but... As he looks at you, is... I don't hear anything. He's all hear the creaking of the ship as the waters lash up it in this port. Hello? Hello. Hi, you got an 8, you didn't hear now. Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, the internet just fucking died. I'm on my phone. I'm so, yeah, I'm, figured something had happened, but like, wasn't too sure. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The internet's that- just being a bitch. And great, another eight. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a uh, natural sex. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't hear anything off. Then I'm gonna head to Arby's or 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 and sort of like wh- whisper as best I can because I'm scared of something listening in or watching us. You got an invisible friend, right? Or I guess I- I- is it common knowledge Dwergar can go invisible? I guess before I ask. You. I think you've literally seen it turn on invisible. Okay, so I watched it happen. Okay, so then you got a friend that can go invisible, right? Maybe. What's it to you? I'll be very clear for DM purposes. I'm whispering this as quietly as I can. Uh, but, uh... <coughs> well, I just had an interesting thought pr- provo- provoked by a uh, friend that what if a sort of accident were to occur? Maybe a bit of a leak 
<laughs> as I again do what Corby did. And like, there we go. Points over to the <clears throat> wall behind the staircase that you stand, you sit next to. Oh. Uh, well, if he causes the leak, it, it turns uninvisible and then everyone knows what they're doing. Well, then maybe he'll just have to be extra sneaky about it. No, like, he'll... No. <laughs> I, I, I could try and do it. Is there, um, is there a piece of metal on the ship that, like, connects to the outside? Like an anchor? Anything. Anything that might create a leak, so to speak. Uh, oh, you're trying to make it look like an accident, I think? Barring, barring the anchor that holds it down, um, nothing really else. Wait, there's an anchor that... What does the anchor hold down? The entire ship? It, hold, it hold, keeps the ship in bay. Oh, uh, I don't think that's gonna work. The 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 what's it called? The little windows aren't still wider. Oh, there's port. I thought you meant but the portholes do have like you know metal on them. Yes. Yeah, I'll um, I'll target one of those with heat metal and just kind of wait until it either combusts or melts down, and oh, hopefully that will create a leak. I thought there weren't any down here. There's none on this level. Oh, I thought you said so. Well, well shit. You said on that's the, the ship. Level. Okay, well, I thought you had some common fucking knowledge and knew what I was talking about. Not on that one there. Uh, um, in that case... Can you check something out for me? Do I have any daggers in my inventory? Uh, da, 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 da. You do not. However... Right. However, you do have crossbow bolts. Which technically speaking uh, would have metal on them, if those, that those, those those are too important to me. Um, I'll I'll ask Corby. Is Corby here? Corby's here, but he's at the bar. I'll ask Corby. Uh, 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 got got a bit. Mm -hmm. They need a distraction downstairs. Could you uh, plop a dagger into the woods? So that I can create a combustion, hopefully. Corby looks around the downstairs where we're all sitting. <laughs> and sort of goes, that's what you're supposed to do. Just take your mace and smack the thing and then tell them that it's a leak. Is that an order? No, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Well, can you do the dagger? No, I need it to fight. Oh, Would I be I'll able to overhear this? I'll, he's... A, I'll stick a crossbow bolt in. I'll sacrifice one of my precious bolts. Um, Wait, but yeah, would I'll... I be able to overhear this? It's like I'm nearby, right? You're standing next to Corby. Um, you don't have the lowest passive perception, so you can hear their hushed tone conversation. I'd say. I'll just like lean over, just. I have a few daggers that I don't really use, if you... Uh, yeah, can you just stick one in, uh, somewhere? Just anywhere? Yeah, just anywhere, really. Just a little hidey place. Um, don't stab yourself. If, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, wood combusts at high temperatures, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, just anywhere. Just a little hidden. Uh... So like, okay, anywhere. So is this like like in the ship, sort of anywhere, or like under a table? Anywhere, in the ship or under a table. Just like in some planks, in something. Okay. Uh, I'll just walk over and like, I'm trying to think. Uh, because a lot of the places have people nearby. So. Also, some of it isn't blatant. Um, I can't really see what's over here. 
Uh, Almost as if that's a blind spot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like walk over here and just sort of place it like, um, like the bottom of the tables. You know how like sometimes there's like things you can place like the way the bottom like underside of the tables are structured. So you can yeah, like, it's got like a weird lep on it. Reasonably place something like in between. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go. Okay. Fine. Then I'll do that. Place it there. I'll, uh, I'll cast Heat Metal on a dagger. Stay a reasonable distance away from it. Yeah. That's a lot of raised yeah. suspicion. And I hope this plan will work. Uh, Otherwise, I, think, I'm... I think for Heat Metal as well, it requires sight, which you do have. Yep. You can see where they put it as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, so can I roll, I think it's 10d8 fire damage, yeah? Uh, 2d8. Yeah, yeah, but then it lasts for a minute. Yep. So, I'll burn a second level spell slot off you just now. And... Oh, I see. Yeah, just roll 10d8 and we'll... Well, actually, if it's 10 rounds, it's 20d8. You're right, it is. I don't. No, it's, I, I can't I'm, roll I'm, at the moment, so... Ah, uh, wait. Uh, 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 horned one, can you roll for me? No, I trust you more than... It is 10d8. Oh, it is? 2d8 and then 1d8 for... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of upcast. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, 20... 20 20 d uh, uh, That even is how we roll... TPK ourselves. First of all, can you roll 20d8 for me, please? What are we going to roll? 20d8. Doesn't trust me to make his rules anymore. Uh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. Uh, what did you roll? 81. Okay, the ship takes 81 damage. Fire <laughs> damage. Yeah. Well, so it's, you know. I, think, I hope. You place that one down. Can I hear the whistle from the back? Eh? Kind of points towards yourself first while you've been standing at the barn. Get a good look at you. He watches Amrick's hand starts kind of pointing towards. Or you watch as a man standing by a mast takes a, a sniff. You watch as his eyes seem to change and dart round for a moment. You can't quite tell where it's coming from, but he's smelling something. Oh, what do I smell? No, he's smelling it. He's smelling the fire. Oh. He smells all right, all right. <laughs> I was going to say not you this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll, um, I'll make my way up to um, the dude, the smelling dude. I'm going, uh, do you need help with that by any chance? Did you get me come up and... He's been sniffing and he's like, I'll look at you, he gets a sniff at you and he's No! I'm good! And just like <laughs> Tell painfully just gonna like walks up the stairs trying to be as polite as possible, but trying his hardest here. See he... care of managed to take care of a guard in this place with <laughs> non lethally <laughs> Yeah. First of all, as Amrik is pointing at yourself and whistling and pointing violently. Is he like beckoning me over? Beckoning is polite. This is not polite. Uh oh, I think you read your mind. Is demanding a better term? Demanding, yeah. Okay. God forbid a man do anything. <laughs> Don't worry, your your doctor has a gun. <laughs> As Sartor moves off, um, Corby will just say to Aggie, the barkeeper, and goes, "Can you smell burning back there?" And I point towards back towards the stairs. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's not good in a boat, is it? Mm, 
you know, pours a little shot, hands you the rum, pours an R1, hands it to the guy, but someone puts him to himself. Plenty of water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fires the shot down. As will you come up to this table with Amrick as he looks at you. I've been told that uh, you didn't do what I wanted. It sees Rupert Wait. get towards the bar. He stands up and shouts, Hey! Points and just slowly points towards the table. Okay, now we're both in hot shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna like. It's okay. I'm so good mumble. at talking. I'm just gonna <laughs> passively mumble to Corby and say, "Wish me luck." <laughs> Let me just. We we recently came back because we had gone. We had gained the information that your target has left the premise. We have no leads. On Is he? gestures towards the table and raises up his hand, two fingers, and points towards the table. He watches the Kenku goes under the table once more and grabs another bottle of wine and immediately brings it up and boom, sits it down at the table. Yeah. I'm just going to whisper to the don't drink it. <laughs> Watch the kind of positions himself and, and grooms himself a little. Sit down. Actually, no, I'm not going to sit close to the plug. <laughs> <laughs> like, Rupert, Rupert takes a seat, looks at the plug, immediately scoots over to start some. <laughs> A little birdie told me something. A fun something. Get up. About you two. Look, we're not oh. dating. That's just a rumor. <laughs> I could Sorry, I had to do the show. That. However, uh, you kind of members of the fist, and that's a no go. I have no such associations. I don't. Maya. I know things. Birdies tell me everything. You can prove me wrong. I can prove you right as well. I am, um, how you say it, well connected. Comes with the territory. And you are, um, well, what's uh, that? the right voice. Corby just mutters. Cast Hunter's Mark, brings his bow out and shoots him. Oh, for initiative. Holy fuck. Um, I'd also like to ask, what is the deal with these Van Thumpers and the speech impediments? Like, why does this dude <laughs> talk like he has wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Autism it's overdose. It's just to piss you off. Yeah. Right. I have a question, uh, Mr. DM. Yeah, would that would that attack out of nowhere count as a surprise? Yeah. From Corby. What? Yeah, that's why I'm wondering. That's why I'm allowing Corby to have this attack off, and then if it so yes. happens that Corby gets to the top of the initiative, he has a whole action and bonus action he can take. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I have a question. Do they just not care about the fire? Set fire at a table. Yeah. Fire <laughs> spreads. It's slowly starting up. Slowly. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Uh, would you, uh, you too, Zera, yeah. Uh, Gar, I have you, and would you like to roll, or would you like me to roll and everybody can confirm what I say? No, I'll roll, because I think I've got my computer working. Oh. oh. okay. It's okay, guys. Last time, last time, first of all, sunk a boat, or was on a boat that sunk, it turned out fine. Not for everyone else, but for him. How am I both simultaneously at the top and the bottom of initiative? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Corby is 7 and Kate Hunter's Mark 7 and you also get your one good old attack. Hello. Hey. Laura, I swear to fuck, if you put clothes on that damn dog again. No, Zarda, I just want to say that was fucking hilarious and I love it. You do an apology, get an apology. Great. What the, the banging. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm scared the dog. <laughs> <laughs> She was having a nice sweep and then she shot up like mm. I'm sorry, Meg. I'm sorry. No, we can't going. However, call it revenge for when you wake me up at two in the morning and three in the morning and <laughs> four in the morning and when you wake Laura up at five in the morning and six in the morning. Especially on our days off. We enjoy our late lies on a Saturday oh. and you wake us up at six in the morning. The difference is I have the constitution to roll back over. Look at what Corby just rolled. I'm sleep past five o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Holy shit. 21 for nine. Um, do I get advantage? Just quick fishing or not? Fuck it, yeah. No. Go for um, it. No, with, go with for that... it. What? Yeah, I said yeah. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Oh, sorry. Um... um he will, you'll see, like, as the arrow flies out, hopefully hitting him, yeah, half, nice. of, half invisible ravens also follow and start pecking him for another six. And then Hunter's Mark does another six. So, <laughs> 20 points of dead damage. Um, uh, first of all, that's insane. Second of all, is Clifton here? He's with you, yeah. Right next, he's set as invisible. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to roll him into initiative as well. Aye. Right. If, uh, if I could. Should be able to. He's, you've got control of the token for him, correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, yeah, should... but I'm on the laptop and I don't know how to right click. Oh, you're on mobile and doing it? There you oh, go. no, I got it. Is that... and then in, in Primordial, he'll, he'll talk to Aggie and say, You don't want to be involved in this. That's my turn. Yeah, I'm going to. Ducks down here, <laughs> boom, of the bottle being opened. <laughs> and, uh, let's turn off the ambient, get to the combat, and start things off by opening up the sheets that I probably should have opened up a little while ago. Uh, devil on one side. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Amna's already taken a fucking beating. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, this guy has this. Okay. Then. Oh, wait. Yep. And he's also in. And he's also in because I'm forgetting that he has thugs. Oh, he's still at the bottom. Wow, they rolled poorly. And then. It's, it's the distraction. <laughs> they are distracted. The Kenku is down under. His fast goes off. We roll over to the Spined Devil, who will give a little fluttering fly over towards yourself. He's going to jump up on the table, pulls out a little fork, and just stabs that towards uh, a, di a yeah. dinner fork. Flavouring it as a dinner fork, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you know. Pulls out one of these and just starts going like that towards Rupert. Uh, you know, sticks it in. 
I'd say 16 for 4, which I believe misses. Actually, that just hit, oh, but shit. reaction shield. Wait, no, I have an AC of 15. That would hit, but I'm going to use shield anyway. Alright. That takes your AC up to 20. Is it then kind of yep. turns round and is it kind of sticks at and at you without even looking, turns to Farcel and goes to try and take a bite out of Farcel's arm. It's an 11 for 6. Uh, the thug at the bar kind of like stands up, kind of looks round. Uh, b -b 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 uh, uh. We'll have to dash to get anywhere. I'm just going to class him standing up. He's going from prone. Corby. Uh, I'm going to shoot Amrit again. I'm out for blood. I didn't like how he's talking to the other two, so I'll try shooting him again. Yep. Can I use my inspiration, please? Yep. Yeah, fire. Just where you got to let it go. Like, ah, I don't trust this one. Pull it back a bit more. Fire. Ow. Hits him. An extra D4 from Hunter's Mark. And then another. Once again, the arrows come out to another four. Six. Jesus Christ, Corby. Sixteen. Corbin. Jesus. And then I'm going to slide back yourself. a bit. I love Corby. <laughs> there we go. And that was already farcible. You know, it's just Amrick has been kind of like sitting there in the chair, is all this kind of popped off, like completely unaware of what's going on. Hand still by his side, glass with the drink still there, just looking round frantically. Uh, well, right away to throw out. Um, gonna throw a mind spike on, uh, Arik. Hi. Mind spike, wisdom saving throw. He passes. He takes half damage. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let me look. Um, on a failed save, you always spell ends. But... Yeah. Half Half damage incoming. He takes six owies. Then it now's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna. It. It. The. Uh, the devil did not hit when it tried to bite me. Correct. It did not. No. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, sort of flip back behind the couch here to sort of build dif uh, distance between me. As it does, it takes this little the, um, fork and sticks it towards you. That's a sex of basis. All right, so I'm gonna pull myself back here and sort of use the couch to, like cover behind, and that will be my. Turn. Yeah, he's giving herself half cover, ladies and gentlemen. Zadia, you know, watches all this is going off a strange sensation. What? What's happening? What? How did things yeah. escalate so quickly? She does not understand what's up, so she's just gonna go there. See the devil, she already saw it before it moved. And I'm gonna cast Witch Ball that first level on it and yep. hope that I hit. Uh, where is it? Oh, I didn't know, know it done that. That's cool. A 14 for 8 <coughs> does in fact hit. It takes a. And. Eight zappies. And that's my turn. I stay there, just being like, there is a devil, I don't know what's up, but I'm gonna be there. Rupert. Alright, so, uh, don't worry about placing the force cannon, I'm just gonna have it be the version where I just hold it in my hand. Just so you're aware. But, uh, so, speaking of which, uh, I need to make a ranged spell attack as you a have, bonus action. So you have a sheet. Thing. You have a sheet for it, so you can actually do it. Uh, I need to. Well, does it roll with my spell attack? Does it what? It needs to roll with my spell attack. Yeah, the the math on it is. Okay. Uh... Oh! I don't think that's your spell attack, mind you, but that's still a nat twenty, regardless of how you look at it, chief. Well, um, I rolled a sp yeah. spell. Well, you, I thought you said it did. Yeah, no, I didn't realize your plus, but a nat twenty is a nat twenty, regardless. It still hits. 
to like lovely and that does oh my god that was just a bonus action let's see your intelligence is cast 17 i've got the spell book uh call it an intelligence yep. caster it, like needs a, a fucking dun 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 it's blast i've got to make sure it's going to use the right shit just for us in the future because your spell okay. save and rolling for you a sec uh, five Three, four, five, kill, kill, kill. So that then make that three, four, five, kill. Uh, Twenty-two for nine plus eight. Who's it going towards? Oh, sorry. I thought I said I I'm shooting the. I'm shooting him. <laughs> Henry, fuck him. Right, that's technically. A... It's a ranged spell attack. Is that a bit disadvantaged then? Does that apply to spells? It's a ranged spell attack. So yeah. I guess. Okay, so I'll add the thing. 15. 15 on him, still hits. Wow. Very low AC, he takes a 9 forcey owies. He's gonna watch you blown back in the chair, the wine up the wall. Yup, and that pushes him 5 feet away. I don't know how that works with the, the thing. Woo! <laughs> Over the couch. And then, as my main attack, uh, let's go with uh, good old, uh, wait a minute, I just realized something. For once, people aren't in front of me! Over the couch, <laughs> just get half cover, AC does get higher. Ah, but, uh, I cast Thunderwave. Ah! Fun! Uh, you didn't roll it for some reason. Hold on. I it didn't display it. Okay, so basically just... Each creature, they, it's, it's, it's not even just feet I in front of me. I don't think you've done it right. Oh, there we go. It took a moment. Ah, bit of wait, bit of that. Uh, yeah. Each creature 15 foot in front of you. 15 foot cube in front of me. Yep. Both save. So it's, I believe it's half damage. Yeah, it's just half damage. In addition, objects that are unsecured are put 10 feet automatically. So, table and couch. <laughs> The move. The table, kind of, all the stuff on it. The wine glasses, the lot. Did it now? Your turn. Uh, I don't know how much movement it would take to hop over the couch, but I'm gonna hop over the couch. I don't mind risking opportunity. It's already used his reaction, Matt. Oh, then. To... There we go. Fuck. Can you move me just uh, five feet down? Sorry, I didn't move there in time. That's it. Gark, sir, you are at the bottom of the room. Uh, I could just get to you yeah, something you'd like. Um, I'll, no, I'm in game. I'll, uh, I'll tell Grifton to uh, uh, help out a little bit, right? And shoot at the big guy. That's absolutely wonderful. All right. Um. Hey, where's the staircase? Here, other right, other side. Oh shit! Can I move to the yeah. other side? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thought it was on this side. Uh, ten. All right. Boom. Okay. That's my turn. Grifton. Grifton will uh, enlarge. Kinky, but sure. Um, <laughs> I have the thing Please. for it somewhere, but yeah, Grifton get big. Grifton oh my! Get very big. And girthy. I have a macro port. So, uh, what else was he doing right now? Uh, moving up. It's over there. That's all he can do because that's his action. Right. I don't uh, think he can do anything as a bonus. E, find your D&D, uh, Macro's Mask. I have a shrink in just... with one somewhere, but yeah. Don't worry, he moves over there. Doesn't do much else, well, but... I can also just do it for you, mate. Seeing as you're yeah. a little silly. There you go. And we move over to... Amerique is a... Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Is it what she's gonna... He's into his pocket. He pulls out his little thing and <sighs> throws it right just straight here. 
because it does explosion of just pure smoke. As it does. Hides in the smoke. And you can't do too much else, which is going to be real fun, but worry not as we move on over to the thug who has seen this happen. He runs up. Oh, I've got to get this shit done yet. He runs up to Doctor and as he does, immediately kind of looks at you. Throws his hand out towards you. And mm -hmm. I need a athletics or acrobatics check. Is he trying to grapple me? Or Maybe. I'm just curious. Because you said acrobatics or athletics? Yep. The good old anti-grapple check. You are not prone. Ah, oh, he's shoving me. Yeah. Then he's taking his mace and he is just smacking you once in the face with it. As you start hearing him screaming, Protect the boss! 20 for 8. You. 20 for 8, yeah, I'll just take it. Bonk. The other one, haven't seen what's going on, will run round up to Farcible. I'm going to require the same from yourself, Farcible. A dexterity or strength. Uh, sorry, acrobatics or athletics. You're fine. As he like, tries to like hold you, you just kind of like worm away oh, from damn. it. And I looks at you. And he just throws his mace wildly at you. A uh, nine for seven. Emphasis on the wild. <laughs> <laughs> Does. We move over. Corbo. Oh, no. Wait. Numbers. There we go. The spined devil flies on over towards Zadia. As it does, takes out his little fork. Gives you that little stab of hunger, 21 for 4. Save you in smoke as well, or not? Or is it just. Te rip? Technically, she's in smoke. See. Ten foot of me. Which bolt? Oh yeah. So I will paste it so you know when he's in and out real quick. Three, two. Pops. All in there. The thug, who's completely blind. Mm -hmm. Let's start here. Shouting. Can't see. Corby. So I have hunter's marker. Do I have a general idea where? Amrakids. I believe Hunter Smart does specifically state you know exactly where they are. So I still like to aim to where I feel Amrak and. Yeah, that's uh, standard roll. That's <laughs> 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 two back to back Nat 20s. <laughs> no, Nat 1s. Yeah. Yeah, do you wish to do it now your turn? Cry. No, that's fine at the moment. And as you watch, as the guard here kind of starts running and sprinting towards it all, she does gets there. As the do you watch, as the hood comes up and over to show you a woman of d darker skin, I suppose is the phrase. Like a. Who Let's see, like tan, it's like curlyish hair, cloaked up, dressed in full plate mail and such. And she kind of runs towards the edge of the smoke. You can tell it roughly she is the same mark as yourself. Barcival. Uh, I am going to use my crossbow and shoot the guard thug, whatever that's in front of me. Hmm? Wouldn't that be a disadvantage? It doesn't hit regardless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, pull it out and Can I attempt to, like... Yeah? Can I attempt to, like, push past him? 
Ja, ja. Okay. Actually, speaking of, I mean, all the alcohol and stuff got smashed, right? Like, all yeah. Like seeped into the wood by now, or it's like not. It's definitely running off. It's not seeping wood. in, but it is. It is pulling. Um, I will say you invoke the wrath of Jim Boy. That's a seven for five, so you're fine. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, then I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I don't think I can make any actions regarding spells for my turn. Right? Um, yeah, yeah, you bonus action and that's it. Or technically reaction. Okay. Then I will end my turn here. Zeria, you're in the smoke, you know the devil, you know Amrick, you know everyone's there. Yeah? What are you thinking? What are you trying? We're not hearing you, so... Mm -hmm. If you're talking, we can't hear you. What's the... There. Okay, you trying to, you trying to move to there? Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you now. Now we can. Okay, I'm gonna try to use face step to move um, to move uh, here, like I think it's 30 feet. Okay, uh, as in your features. Yeah. There we go. Yep, anywhere within that yellow circle you click and you will teleport. And I think you clicked into the water. <laughs> you drown yourself in the digital lake. <laughs> you out of the smoke into there. And the one that were uh, within five feet of me before I teleport must succeed on the wisdom saving throw or be frightened. Oh. She is a win. Oh, uh, one or so. Is she hostile? Only one way to find out. Uh, is it one? Uh, you, so which one? Because there was two of them next to you. Uh, so it's two. Uh, the devil one and the bad it, guy. It can only be one of them. So what one? Uh, the bad guy. Is this class is a magical effect. Oh, no, he does, doesn't matter for him. Never mind. Boom. Yeah. Um. Well, there goes his escape plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and. I still have Witch Bolt, but I don't think that I can uh, use it on the Devil because he's too far. Uh, Could I have moved a bit uh, before because I, I didn't think of that? Could I have moved like just there? So I was still in range. Witch Bolt, uh, let's see, I'm checking once. Villains, once you use your action to do nothing, anything else. Bill also ends if the target is out of your range or in total cover from you. When you teleported out of his range, it reads that the spell ends there. Yeah, and I wanted to keep it and be still in the 30 foot radius. I'll give you this time, just remember your spells in the future. Yeah, sorry, I, uh, I yep. was not thinking right. Uh, and then I continue the witch board uh, thing on the so, devil then. So, uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, recast the spell, do not use the spell slot. Okay. Um, I think it just auto hits, right? It just doesn't damage. Yeah, but that's just gonna make the damage a bit easier on a hat. Target takes two of that. Mm, I was just target. curious. Oh, just posted it up. Uh, make a spell attack against okay. creature, and a hit takes one d12 lightning damage on each of your turns for the duration. You can use your action to deal an additional d12. That d12 turned out to be six on the poor guy. You see, buzzes and dozzes. And as it were, we move over to Rupert lying on the ground, thug looking over you, I mace. I thought I succeeded. No, you failed miserably. Y you didn't say that. I, yeah, I said you are that. not prone. Okay, then I guess I didn't catch that. Alright, fine. Half moon speed, get up. Yep. 
And then uh, I'm going to do what they call a pro gamer move and move here. And then uh, let me just read this real quick. Uh, I cast Get the Fuck Away From Me. <laughs> ah, an excellent casting time. Um, Thunder Wind sweeps from you. Each creature within a 15 foot cube originating from you must make the save. Uh, boom. Saves. Alright, well, he still takes at least 5 damage. Yep. Yeah, that's your turn. Bonus action. Wait, is he still in smoke? I can't see him, can I? Uh, he's still in smoke for now, yeah. Would a shot from my force cannon clear the smoke, considering it's force? No. Fair enough. Alright, then I'm just gonna, uh, gobble the gook. It's a disadvantage, but I'll just shoot the guy in front of me. So I'm, I'm gonna roll, roll a firebolt. Yep. I'm just gonna roll firebolt as a thing, then. Okay, 15. Does that hit? 15 hits, yeah. I've already updated the force cannon to have the correct number anyway. You'll notice that a 19 oh, okay. for 24 is 5. Uh, so you take, say, bumped 7 force damage. Yep. And he's forced 5 feet away from me. Fun. Uh, and so, since he's 5 feet away from me, uh, just, uh, I can move through um, Tarsal, right? Yeah. 5... And 15. Just sort of look at this woman. She hasn't shot me yet, so I'm just going to look towards the Van Thamper Pod and then that's it. <laughs> uh, okay. You're doing, sir? My turn? Yep. Uh, I'm going to uh, dash up to the captain, say uh, what I just said to you, huh? and if I need to... Huh? Uh, if I need to make a charisma check, here's the oh my Don't god! Work. Uh, Hopefully I don't god, you a charisma check. Kind of looks at you and shrugs and nods. Just yeah. Yep. And just kind of leans back on the door, whistling. Just gonna start watching the smoke is slowly making its way up. You can smell it burning. Everyone else down here is starting to nip at the nostrils a bit. All oh, right, the fire I made. Middle of Grifton. <laughs> I might have forgot. Um, the thug next to Grifton, is he with Fantampa? Like, does he, is he hostile or anything? Uh, as this fight's broke off, he seems to have just kind of stood there at the post, just doing fuck all. Alright, in that case, Dash. Big dude. Boom, 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 boom. What is this next to me? Who is that? Oh my god, I did not see how big his token was. What? Same, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> who, well, who, who, is, who is that? Uh, someone. She hasn't What's attacked us looking? yet. Okay, well, uh, Griftham isn't the smartest, so I'm just gonna make... Uh... Well, I didn't attack him, so maybe that helps. Okay, well, yeah. Griftham is apparently very smart and won't attack her. Uh, instead... We won't do anything. Is this yeah. a, like a smoke bomb? Maybe, or... Yes. Maybe uh, if he inhales and vapes all of the smoke, it'll go away. No, he's not the vapor in this situation. <laughs> um, I would like him to yep. yell out, though. Just yell. He's just <laughs> this. It's the <laughs> only legible thing that Dwegar has said that you understand so far. <laughs> uh... Our boy, our friend, is just gonna hear. Uh, I give up! You're gonna hear the thudding of something hitting wood. Give up! Ting! I'm now laying down myself and my <laughs> arms. Laying them down. I will personally lynch anyone that spares his life, man. Can we insight this? <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead if you want. By all means. Because it's funny, I will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good friend, the thug, kind of looks at you, Rupert. You, know, you think you're going? Takes the mace and just smashes that 20. Right upside uh, the back of your head. Ah! 
just gonna. Oh man, five hit points. <laughs> laughs at you and put your toys away, boy, and just takes one down towards your legs. Fourteen for five, just misses. One behind your parcel, kind of runs forward. Do you think you're going? Puts a hand on the back of your neck to grab you for an, a grapple. Um, do the grapple thing. Uh, athletics uh, or acrobatics? Yeah. Roll to six. <laughs> Two nat twenty. So does goes uh, uh, and immediately as he kind of falls through, fumbles with the mace, kind of tries bringing it down. That's an eight. That's thematic. It works well. You can hear the yeah. spine devil kind of muttering something yeah. off for all of you as it's like a <laughs> far so you hear the fucking coward. As it does, mm. spine devil oh. kind of pulls back, assesses the situation as it is, you know, watches the tail curls round as it takes out two of its little spines from its tail. And immediately, oh this is a disadvantage. Immediately just kind of throws them towards yourself there. That's a 6 and a 14. I think a 14 just misses. 14 just hits. Youch. Yep, I was making sure you were doing it. And so that's a 4 piercing and technically half fire as well. Um, so roll your this as well. And then just roll one save and cancel the other one off. Um, you got to be safe. The thug in the smoke is... Where is everyone? Why? Why are we all gonna... Walks out. <gasps> oh! Okay. Yeah, drops the mace and like, you know, puts his hands up and just like slowly starts walking back to the table. <laughs> leans over and like grabs the coins. You can hear all like some of the coins is hitting the ground and, and draws the drawstring and puts it in his pocket. And starts like backing up towards the wall, hands up. Corby. So, although I know where Emmerich is, I did see a big fuck off dwarf run in the way. Yep. So I am going to move up. And then can I jump up onto like the bar, the yeah. bar, and then onto the top of the barrels. Yeah, yeah, by all fucking means, bit. And then mm -hmm. cool from shit. there, do I? Yeah. Do I see the spine devil at the back now, or not? Is it still covered by the uh, cloud? You... Yeah, you see, you see the spine devil up back there, kind of just with its tail spikes. Yeah. Another guard's kind of like up at the wall, just trying to look non conspicuous. So I think. Devils, I'm dead and similar, so I'll put out a silver arrow and I'll shoot one. Yep. Ah. Miss it sadly. Yep, that's it. That's right. Uh let's see, do you know what's I was say, do you not specifically have standard ar uh silvered arrows in your sheet? I couldn't find them, so I put them in there, so I'll import one just now for you and then you just kind of run off the math real quick for it. Yeah. Silvered arrow, singular one added to your sheet and you just do the math from there, my guy. Sure. As the woman now standing kind of pulls her long sword, kind of looks round. But where is he? In there. Smoke. smoke <laughs> out of my liver. Can watch you see he wanders into the smoke. He's gonna hear this, <laughs> like this sword just being stabbed into the ground. So a five, five finger fillet material here. First of all, uh, I'm going to use infestation on the guard that. Moment. Lovely damage. Oh, <laughs> oh wonderful. <laughs> he still fucking fails. And he has to move in a random direction. Roll a d4. Uh, he moves in a northward direction. All of his movement, or what is it? 
Isn't that the, five that's, the, that's the other one? Oh! This one, I think. Shit, then in that case then, um, add one on him, remove one from him, moves up to the couch. And then I'll move down. Yeah. What's the hands are going off of these little flies or something? Uh, <laughs> and that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Zidia, you're up. Yeah. I'm gonna move there, so I'm kind of blocking the passage, and I'm gonna cast Firebolt on the the villain. Okay. Uh, is he standing down? I guess the devil isn't. Oh, uh, the devil! I thought she said the evil. Sorry. Is he gonna mm, uh, he, fire that one right off? Thing. You're going to hear the devil screeching in the background before this. Poof! Is the thug. He's dead! He's dead! Did anyone else your turn? Um, no, just look at the guy and be like, don't move! Uh, Rupert. <laughs> I'm just going to take one look at these two guard thugs and say, so, you still want to fight, or are you standing down? As I slowly point my force gun towards them. They pull out a microscope, but it's still quite hard to see here. Force ballista. I'm gonna look at you. Do, do they respond? She don't care. Alright, so they're still out for blood, so, uh, five... Oh, wait, that removes him out of sight, never mind. So let me just... 5, 10, 15, 15, 20, and then, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, fuck you. Alright, I started blasting. Where the fuck? I just got the force cannon pulled up. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I dropped my gun. Does anyone else still hear force cannon? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I said force gun. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you all. <laughs> Fire this off <laughs> completely wide. The table. <laughs> Did it? Now your turn. I want to kill my companions, but anyways. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm trying. Uh, I'm joking. Try harder. <laughs> I'm gonna cast healing hands on myself. Healing hands. Okay. Roll two d four. Three. <laughs> that doesn't even get a four. I fucking hate my life. Uh, I, I'm just going to go to the first and say I'm just embarrassed and kind of want to die now. That's my turn. Yeah. Uh, I'll, a pat on the shoulder. Yeah. I'll tell the cops in this. That's uh, end of my turn. Yeah. Oh shit! Did you start hearing this? Ding, 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 ding. From upstairs. Uh, and my lovely little Lego friend will absolutely do nothing. The flat roll because it's, it's boof. It's gonna the pet comes down. It's like I'm. I'm. Stop! I give up! <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um, uh, Grifton doesn't speak common, so <laughs> he doesn't know what he's saying. I don't know. The guard guy come running towards yourself, full fucking speed, mace oh, in that's one hand. opportunity from Tarsival, since it moved past him. It's Parsible's choice whether or not Tarsival wants to use the reaction or not to make a melee attack. I was just wondering if it procs it. <laughs> Takes his mace and immediately swings it towards yourself. That's a 22 for 7. I don't have a shield anymore. I'm just going to take it. Wait, I should be at 8 hit points, not 5. So how much damage was it anyway? 7. So you'd have 1. So I'm at 1 hit point. That's a 7 for 7, which misses. I'm on one fucking hit point in a dream. <laughs> the other thug comes 
sprinting down oh, towards. On. You said do you want to fight? You said you specifically. I said do you want to stun down? This is their answer. As he takes his mace and swings it towards yourself. Yep. Eleven misses as he does. Kind of, uh, takes both and just swings with both hands directly at your face. Misses still. You're just like standing there completely bloodied and dazed. As he swings and swings again. Just get giving each other the say, fucking eyes. I'm just gonna say to him as he misses twice, just <laughs> your mother. Watches the thug here starts like going against the wall, still hugging it, and then like kind of just, like moves onto the couch and like it sits down. He's like not threatening. Starts counting his money. <laughs> Corby. Um, I'm just having to refresh. Corby yep. moves up towards where he knows Amrik is, pulls out his dagger, puts it to his throat and say, I'm moving. All right. We're taking it. So, uh, 40 foot would be an action dash. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. You pull out the dagger and kind of hold his, grab his hair and hold it to his throat and see what he says. He's like, not going anywhere, not moving, not doing anything. You can tell him on the ground. You can you're gonna hear the smacking of his hands. Nothing in these. It's my turn. Still hear the boof, boof, boof. Who's throwing a smoke bomb anyway? Barcival. Oh, uh, how oh, not? Stop dying, dear lord. Okay. I'm going to move over and then I am going to cast uh neither of them are really a th over. I am going to cast me. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it whispers on the one that's to the left of Yep. These one is whispers as you kinda you know whisper in is your your mom's a whole You kinda Little tear of sadness as you watch as he you know, twists a little. And he can't do it. He must immediately use his reaction if available and move as far away as his movement allows. So he just, uh, you know, right up towards the table. You know, look it over. He's cheating. Did it know your turn? Uh, I don't think I can do much else, so no. Julia. Um, I'm just gonna say, I thought the fight was over, we got the guy, just come here and take him. And I'm just gonna approach uh, him. Yep. And be like, if you move, you're dead. And that's it. So you move into, you know, enough movement through this, the smoke basically disappears at that point. You see he is lying on the ground. Corby holding like that, two daggers off to the side, the woman. Oh, turns a long sword like that. Rupert. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take the disengage action as an action. Ah, smart five, action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and uh, I believe, let me double check the range of this force cannon. What the fuck? I why does it keep closing itself? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Anyways, force cannon has a range of that. I yeah, he's still on range. Bro, I am begging you, please just call it your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen for seven. <laughs> and he's pushed five feet back. back. Yep. Well, I said force gun earlier, and you guys still gave me shit. Yeah, and we, yeah just we say will. gun. You've been saying gun all the time before you got to third level, and now suddenly you say force kid. Force cannon, you bingo bop. Hey, no need to get emotional over your force kid. <laughs> I'm going to fucking shoot you. I swear. I, I got God. circumcised as well, mate. Uh, I don't get hung up. I'm on going that. to. Alright, that's it. You're no longer getting heals from me. Oh, we got you another Xena. 
You've used this threat three times, and every time I've said, okay, I can heal myself. Guard. Uh, yeah, or or will uh, just stun here. Um, wondering for Clifton, has anyone told him anything? In no. Languages he no knows? Speak no one speaks Dwarvish. No one speaks Dwarvish or Undercom, and he's like completely fucked. Alright, this is against, uh, is he prone? He's prone. He, he... Okay. Shit, I don't know, he's speaking Okay. Nice, 22 damage. God damn it. Yeah. Does he not get context clues? Uh... No, he's an alcoholic. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say he does He's make... currently sober! Anything for a drink. Look, the only order he got was... <laughs> Fight or something like that. I kind of forgot. So you can uh, yeah, pick up and that. just down. You hear the crack as you watch the body. It seems like oh! it does. Um, he yeah, he, he had ten health left. God oh. damn it! <laughs> Shit, uh, I in that eyes. case, sorry. In that case, where's the nearest thug? Here. I mean. Technically, across the way. That's the closest right, Griffin, hostile thug. Griffin will move towards the hug. Hug towards the thug. Uh, but I actually yeah. clicked in turn. So right, move it over. Well, it was Amrick's turn. Guess it's not anymore. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the thug will drop his mace. As he does, he <laughs> looks at yourself, throws back the cloak, to complain that game, pulls out a heavy crossbow and fires towards yourself. Oh, come on. Four for two. Oh, the four. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't 14, but he, you know, this guy's within range. No, I know. It's the other one. Get as much difference as possible, kind of moves back at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Got to do the right math there. No, 30. 45. He moves his way back to that. Yep. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Turns. Oh, there's a fire! Oh. The Thug all the way back here, so like 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Non combatant, remember that, people. I'm just gonna look over there at um, guy counting money. You do realize there's a fire, right? <laughs> he looks at you. I will go down with this ship. I won't put my hands up and surrender. There will be no white flag above my door. 72, 73. <laughs> Corby. Uh, I look at the woman who's standing the other side of. The body, and I will flash the uh, this the uh, Baldur's Gate guard token I have. <laughs> you know, what is she? And then I'm going to start rifling through Amrick's body pouch, <laughs> looking for like notes, pouch. writing <laughs> pouches, anything like that. Just trying to search the body before the ship goes down. Of course. Uh, kill. Um, so he, you, give me an investigation yeah. check. Okay, I have something to do with Kenku's, right. which allows me to get Dennis. Done. I think, yeah, so I'm going to use Kenku Recall. I thought that was just for the noises. To get uh, advantage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you find a in his little cloak of you and a little pouch there. Uh, this one seems to be filled with an additional 150 gold pieces. Just right then and there. You also find yourself a nice little dagger. You also find the Karambit knife. Which, uh, you can look one of those up in your spare time. Those are beautiful. With a black and red striation. Doing it now since return? But no sort of like uh, notes, no messages, no symbol. There's no cult-like symbols on him uh, there, firstly. 
Um, as for anything he would have, it doesn't seem to be anything in, that it would incriminate him in regards to what his mother and brother apparently do. Okay. I'm not a shit. Women, can I... And look, at, look at the women and go, we're investigating dead three cults. What, she can like, puts the long sword back and just like, kind of like, starts to back away. Nope. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's like, backing up to get as much distance from you as possible. It's not right. First of all, uh, I'm going to use my move to move over here to get a better look at things, or as they are, also to gain distance. Um, I can. Oh, well, he's large. Could I reasonably shoot past Griffin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I wanna. Oh, never mind. Can't shoot past okay. that pole, however, uh... but. <laughs> I mean, I can see him, but like yeah. just barely. This is like a okay, little banister I... there. Yeah, then I'll. Yes. Oh! Yeah, shoot. Fucking hell. Which one are you trying to hit here exactly? The one directly in uh, front? The one that's just like. Yeah, the one like below here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that one goes in and rips clean through. Is a nice, powerful hit. Did it know your turn? Uh, nope. Did ya? Um, I'm gonna just say an under command to the big and large guy. You are not supposed to kill him, but you know when they surrender, you just let them live. And then I'm gonna move. So I see something, maybe. Oh, the wrong thing. Um, very quickly, can you make a persuasion check? Because you're not his employer. Uh, an employer, some drunk guy you kidnapped. <laughs> Shut up. I'm paying I'm... him. <laughs> Let, me... Let me check the persuasion. That 20, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what if he not 20s? No, I did get a 19 though, <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunate. All right, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna go there. I'm like, I guess we get to kill that one, uh, and I'm gonna fireball that one. Oh! Oh god! Oh yeah! Did you fire that. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. Did you fire that one off at him. You just gonna hear as he screams as he just goes up like he is covered in kerosene. Just gets screaming as you watch as the flesh melts away. This is an intense heat there. Then and then we, should we just take the body and leave or just leave? I don't know. Just tell me what to do. And that's it. Ripper. Uh, okay, first of all. <sighs> Sorry, my brain is a bit fried. Uh, anyways, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, heading on the couch. Wait, I can still see him. So, uh, so if you can still see him, uh, firebolt. Not one. To that, this one. Not one. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Gosh. He just you just see him lazily like throw a fire javelin and it doesn't even produce fire. It just you just hear a Did he say did he say did he say more with a ship light? What's that? Did he set more with a ship on fire? Is it uh, I like how uh, he just fizzles out. Is that like just a little spark catches on the couch with yeah. a cigarette ember? <laughs> the thug. I'm gonna turn to this guy and say Keep your money or whatever, but you're staying behind for questioning. I'm and not I'm paying for that. I'm not paying for that. What? I don't care. You're just staying for oh. questioning. 
smoke is bellowing up at this point. For um, sure. Yep. Or is this you no know, being with the captain, smoothing and cruising? Schmoozing I'll, the captain. Uh, yeah. 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 I'll just. I don't know. Schmooze. Uh, Grifton will quickly ask uh, Zeria what what about the one up north? The counting mm-hmm. one. What about the counting one? I don't understand, sorry, I didn't uh, hear. What about the counting one, the one at the what? north? Uh, I don't think, he's counting his money, I don't think we should kill him, but Rupert he's seems to want to kill everyone. Rupert kill? Yeah. Rupert is trying to kill everyone. Rupert kill? Uh, stop he knows I've worked with his employer, though. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, the guy counting or Ripper? I need to know now. Uh, guy counting. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, we just said he was fine. <laughs> well, she she said Rupert is trying to kill everyone. And that's true. So yeah, so <laughs> yeah. kill. Bring that down. He's like ah, ah. Counting. Wait, what if Griffin? Wait, what if Griffin see me not attack this guy? <laughs> Griffin didn't answer this turn. Uh, huh. no, it, did it hit? It uh-huh. hit. Oh, okay, nine diamonds. No, that's it. Uh, well, yeah, you don't attack him, but there's only one person or two people that are giving him orders. <laughs> one of them said kill. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> 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 he sounds, sounds so done my life. Is he going to hear the... Literally, I'm on one hit point. <laughs> we'll see about that. He's going to hear the loading and clanking once more as you're the... Fuck you! This is 16 for 4. On me? On you. Fuck uh, me. I mean, he was trying, to be fair. He's going to darts off out of the smoke. You hear that Scooby-Doo-esque laugh, that... <laughs> Corby. <laughs> Um, I'm going to strangle Griffith. Did I just see... Yeah, okay, he just went down, didn't you? Yeah. And Griffith attacked the non-hostile guy. Yeah. <laughs> but you're down. In that case, I will go and rush over to um, Rupert. Yeah. And then try and drag him back towards post here cover type thing yeah, and, while I'm, and while I'm doing that I will cast kill wounds on him beep bang smash I'll oh, maybe you're talking pretty as well bang, bang. Yeah, Rupert just says ah oh, god damn it just let me die <laughs> I'm having a lovely snap I'll make an insight check me yeah. Are you being serious? No. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> Did I announce your turn? No, that's my turn. You hear the woman off from the back. F- fucking fist! And she just runs through the smoke. You hear the of her up the stairs. First of all. My speech impediment girlfriend asked me last night. First of all, good talk. First of all, <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not there. Then she takes, he takes, they take the dodge action. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Yeah, the mic, mic went out, apparently. I'm gonna fireball the one that's in the um, in the back that just tried the uh, the one not con- counting. Um, what? what? <laughs> you guys hurt my brain. <laughs> <laughs> what one did you hit? Uh, this the one. one. <laughs> right, the counting. <laughs> You, you heard him surrender! <laughs> <laughs> you 
because you burn him up and he's like, ah, hey! <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> I have no weapons. Okay, uh, just let us go now, okay? I'm not stopping you! <laughs> okay, well then, everyone in my party, my friends, we just go. What are you doing? And I just repeat that in Pokemon. I repeat that to Grifton. We are leaving. Did anyone else to turn? Does Griffin respond? <laughs> uh, not kill? Not kill, leaving! Okay, kill. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ripper. Tell him to stop killing the money man! Ugh. As I'm just gonna... I look to the money man and say, if the dwarf kills you, good luck. If the dwarf doesn't, good luck. I'm fucking done. <laughs> Bye. Actually, wait, no, no, no never mind. Fit. I'm just gonna. Never mind. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, wait, is the other thug still alive? Can you see him? Well, have I heard? Wait, no. I'm just gonna take a quick peek around this cord five. Ten. I don't see him, so I'm just gonna assume I'm fine. Fifteen. That's my. Actually, you know, I'll just fucking dash. Twenty-five. Wait, does that go down or up? Down. Oh, then. I'll just stay here. I'm done. <laughs> Looks at the stairs. It's too much for me. Or are they? You can't. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try uh, for it a little more. Wow, that's a bit of a. Maybe she'll like it. I'm gonna say what I was gonna say. Places evacuating, however, yeah, Griffin? Uh, Griffin can carry twice as much, I think, right now. Um, how much money can he possibly grab right now? It's all single coinage on the floor, given that you smacked uh, out the guy's hand. So. Right. He had uh, got to be over 70 with his counting. Wow. Uh, can the dude uh, make an athletics check, please? A 14, not an 11. He uh, gets advantage. Uh, it's a 10. Alright, he's grappled. Uh, Griffin will go, oh, boss will like you, and uh, try <laughs> and pull him uh, upstairs. I think I'm currently on someone. Screaming at you. Please! <laughs> stop! They're just drag him, that's it. Thug is... Do, 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 do. He will... Ba, 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 na, 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 da. There's... 20... 35, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. He is sprinting past, running with the crowd of people who are running, bellowing past smoke. I'm gonna get one more round here, see what this goes on, and then if I need to, I'll pull us out. Um, Corby will start moving over to Amric's dead body. Yep. And I'm gonna roll to see what he might want to do. You gonna take he starts, his head or something? No, he starts dragging it towards the top of the stairs here. Looking as if he's gonna throw it, throw it down, but that'd be my movement and that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you do that. The woman, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. you know, watch this woman comes sprinting by with the rest of the crowd. Do they, do they say, oh, they just, do they say anything to Aura while they run past it almost? Or say anything in general? Nope, they're escaping the fire as is everyone else. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Uh, no. Smoke is bellowing that way towards where there is fresh air. Let it really close to that uh, staircase. I mean, there's not much of an active thing going on right now. Should we even stay here? At that point, mm. everyone is technically out of initiative, so yeah. I'll rock us out as the right. combatants 
at this point are very much uh, gone. I said Griffin leaving. Yeah, Leave. can, uh, can Griffin bring the counting dude to Aura? Because uh, Aura wants to have a word with him. Yeah. Corby, you... Griffin knows to bring the dude to Aura. Corby, you stand there with Amric over the stairs, dead body, limp. So... I just sort of use my foot to kick him down the stairs. <laughs> the thud of the body at the very bottom splayed on out uh, uh, Griffin well you know a quick interaction Griffin will throw down the body uh, tell Aura you might like the prisoner and as Aura I would like to dress the counting man and go uh, how much do you value your life Get, get, get me out of like, This place is burning. What do you want? Are you willing to work for another master? Perhaps. Absolutely I... fucking not. Oh, I was going to say, uh, can I make a precision check? Uh, Alright, in that case, uh, it was nice knowing you. Uh, pull out the mace. What? No what? need. What? I, 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 I give up my what? life of crime. Well, will you work for me? No, because you've come in here and killed people, and that seems like a life of crime. Uh, I like the bludgeoning his head in. So you <laughs> looks. This is oh, murder. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> no loose ends, please. Runs. Well, isn't he still grappled? Oh yeah, no, he's small now, but he's not. Oh. Well, in that case, then, yeah, he gets to make so that check again. Uh, no, you got to make the check. He's a non big dweger. He is Wily Coyote. -ian. Okay, opportunity attack, please. Try and grapple him. That's not how it works, mate. Look, look to up. Opportunity of attack is specifically a reaction, and attack is specifically an attack action. You cannot grapple as an opportunity of attack reaction. Grappling's not a reaction. You can grapple in place of your attack. In place of your attack, but an opportunity of attack is not actually an attack action. You can grapple as part of an action, but not part of an opportunity of attack reaction. That fucking blows. All right. Well. I thought it was really cool, and I looked into it, and it turns out you can't. On it, it fucking made combat better. I hope it does become a thing. Yeah. Yeah. He... On, on the... yeah. So on the deck, are the ravens still there? No. They're gone. Uh, I, I'd like to give uh, Grifton a uh, copper piece for his hard work. Yep. I'll say, I'll say in Dwarfish, sorry mate, I don't have anything on me right now. This is all I got. Are we going to watch this? Man's just go hobbling out, the counting man, as he's going down the stairs. Surprised he's still able to work. Give that gnome away! And just starts hobbling. Oh wait, does this mean I can catch yeah. up to him? Could have, but he's not been like, long gone. Oh, uh, well, I'll find him. I'm recognising my face. Uh, I'll ask the captain that... Uh, are you leaving? With us? With me? Are you um, leaving with me? I'm leaving this place to put out the fire. Well, you won't be able to put out the fire on your own. Y yes, I will. <laughs> Alright, well, give me a call if you need any help. I'll be of service to you. In any case, in the way, in the direction. Is all head up the stairs. And there's the smoke kind of bellowing out. A huge crowd of people seems to have gathered. Stealth is not your forte. Neither is sparing people, apparently. Hey, no loose ends. That's a bit really sad. I wanted to keep um, Emmerich alive because I really wanted to uh, test out water. Jesus fucking yeah. Christ. I love how uh, the two horned figures have a similar mindset. <laughs> but yeah, I if he so doesn't want to work I'm so excited. I was if, so excited. No, if he doesn't want to work yeah. under me, then there's no need to keep him around. As you are headed off down that way, 
Oh, but you see the woman standing on the back end of the the boat. Your fist. Wait, what? Who says this? Fist adjacent. Why are you here? What have you got against the Van Tampers? The they have the ill brother. They have connections to the cults of the Dead Three. <sighs> and you what? not possible possible treason. And you're not on the hunt for anyone or anything, bar the dead three? Not at the moment. I'm looking for someone who may be with uh, the Van Thampers. If you're fist adjacent, maybe oh. our interests align. Uh, I've I've had business with the Van Tumper. I should introduce myself. Okay, I'll uh, shut up. I'm Raya Mantlemorn from Elterel. And you are? Not getting out of here. Come with us. <laughs> yeah. You know. And goes down. Very weary of being too close to you. Kind of keeps a bit of a distance the whole time. Yeah. And goes down and looks around warily. I believe that the High Overseer Thavius Krieg is with the Van Thampers. And I don't believe he's aware of the situation. So I'm looking for him. And if you're looking for the Van Thampers, then... We've heard that name. Our interests align for a moment. If you'll help me, I'll certainly aid myself to use. Until such time as we meet our parallel paths, our opposing paths. I, I, I look at her. You can come with us to talk. But do not listen to anything that smelly little bastard says. <laughs> she looks at Orr. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, what? Could you? I only heard <laughs> half of it. As I was typing something. Uh, I Corby, only heard... said... Oh. Corby said, don't listen to the smelly little one. Uh, and then uh, she looked at you and went, don't plan that. <laughs> Hopefully she has an intelligence higher than nine. Yeah. Um, As you... I... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Not by means. Uh, can I ask the captain if she's uh, open to being hired or working for us? Bet busy. I really don't like the fire. intention of you and your high your employees. However, I'm trying to set up a business. I mean, you do see. You do see that she is using magic to take water from the sea to put the fire out. Riveting. She's a fucking waterbender. <laughs> yeah, that would be something you could try. What? Try and ask her. Yeah, try ask her, you know, convince her. Oh, yeah. I uh, don't know how she's going to be, I'm just a GM, mate. Um, I think we could really use someone of your skill set, and we also need more people and connections, and I'm trying to set up a business, and you're really cute in the eyes. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, maybe you would like to be partners, or employee-employer, or just go on a date? How is that? How is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <a> zero ring. <laughs> she looks you dead in the eye. I'm married. Wait, sorry, I, I, um, I didn't 
Uh, I, I wasn't asking. Oh, well, that's not very better. I I'm, I was. Ah, oh, thanks. Vibes just got <laughs> real off real quick there, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, let's retcon that. <laughs> I've got a leash. <laughs> I've got a cage with your name on it. Oh, God. <laughs> You're making it so much worse. She. What do you want enslaving people? She looks. It's just my kink, mate. I'm, I like to be top. She looks at yourself. She's and... a fucking I. Not right now. I have some rebuilding to do. So time is. Uh, oh. Not free at the moment. Wait. Um, I like to uh, cast this. Um, uh, I could help out if you need. I think the rest of us are just leaving, so or, or is yeah. behind. <laughs> yeah, well, he knows where you're going. Hopefully, nobody tell him where we're going. I'll Gosh. seek you out in the morning if need be. But right now, I'd just like to um. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. By uh, uh, pecking the cheek. Uh, run away. Um, <laughs> do I still see them, <laughs> or are they long gone? We probably are. Like, I'd say they are moving. At, uh. Escalated pace. Shall we use that? Uh, right I'm, I'm gonna run as far as my stubby little fat dwarven cut legs can take me, um, with Grifton right behind me, and hopefully catch up. Then, as he's doing, can make we way... try to evade him? <laughs> you make your okay. way through the city once more. I'm assuming you're headed back to the blushing mermaid with the death of Amrik Van Thumper in one hand, the strange new woman in the other, and or, or seemingly making advances towards um, anyone who will listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It Make get, your way off. Nice one, Dale. Wondering what's going to happen next. And God knows what will happen next, because that will be next week. Mm -hmm.